Chapter 761 Charmingly Beautiful Translator Born to be a bang came from the bottom of the river. Within the muddy river, blood splashed and then rapidly dissipated. Killing a seventh rank magical beast from inside its body was extremely easy. That was especially true since most water magical beasts were weak to thunder force. So Long Chen easily killed it. However, it was surprising that even Men Qi didn't recognize it. It was strikingly similar to a catfish with four limbs. But beast tamers didn't usually take fish houseboats, other than using them as rations. What were they useful for? After killing it, Long Chen and Men Qi didn't immediately leap out of the water. They stealthily spread their spiritual strength to probe the situation. Finding that there was nothing strange, they crept ashore. In truth, since Long Chen had the nine-star hegemon body arts intuition, he didn't really need to do this, but he was still afraid. He didn't dare to be the slightest bit careless anymore. Whatever those unknown existences were, they were far from what he could currently handle. At the same time, he couldn't help finding it odd. How was it that the forest divinity had been so kind and easy to get along with, but now they encountered berserk killers wherever they went. Each living thing here wanted their lives. Long Chen even suspected that this wasn't the spirit world. It was on a completely different extreme from the peaceful and tranquil world he had seen before. Once they stealthily went ashore, they began to race back along the path they had come in. With the spiritual marks they had placed on the way, they didn't get lost. After traveling further and finding that nothing was off, Men Qi summoned the Blood Phoenix and they continued back to their original location. When they finally saw the spot that Long Chen had destroyed with his flames, they finally relaxed. They could finally return home. This spirit world was too stifling. According to the hourglass, they still had three days before it was a month. Men Qi, let's take a bath together, said Long Chen suddenly. TCH, don't be so indecent. Men Qi blushed. She hadn't expected Long Chen to make such a rude request. He, as my future wife, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Furthermore, we have to completely cleanse our bodies. At the same time, we'll have to destroy our clothes, said Long Chen. Why? Because this place is the spirit world. The species here are completely different from our world. There are definitely all sorts of pollen and even invisible larvae stuck on our bodies. If we return like this, those species might end up destroying our whole world, said Long Chen. What? It couldn't be that terrifying, said Men Qi. Men Qi, you're a beast tamer. You've only studied magical beasts and not vegetation. I really am not trying to frighten you. If the vegetation here is brought back to our world, then on the off chance that it can manage to survive in that soil, it will begin to rapidly multiply because it has no natural predators. It could break down the entire ecosystem of our world. Haven't you heard about wild desolate land? That was something that was sealed into a minor world by experts during ancient times. The ecosystem there was so badly damaged by foreign species that those almighty experts were helpless to do anything other than to seal that land away. Each world has its own survival rules, but creatures of different worlds aren't within those rules. It's like a killer was suddenly thrown into a group of peaceful people who don't know how to fight. The results are obvious, so we have to completely cleanse our bodies. I will make a flame barrier to create a space for us. Long Chen smiled naughtily. He took out a large wood bathing cask. It had already been filled with water. Long Chen began to disrobe. Men Qi hastily turned away. Although her heart had already become completely devoted to Long Chen, her face was still as red as an apple. Suddenly, she let out a startled cry as Long Chen grasped her waist. They jumped into the bath, and Long Chen began to take off Men Qi's clothes. Don't. Men Qi let out a sharp cry and tightly held onto her clothes. Long Chen smiled mischievously at the panicked Men Qi. Men Qi had always been the warm and calm kind of girl. She gave off a different kind of beauty now. I, I'll do it myself. Men Qi blushed bashfully, not daring to look at Long Chen as she slowly removed her clothes. How about I help you? Don't worry, I won't force you. You're my woman, and in this world, no one can make you do anything you don't want to do, myself included, said Long Chen softly. Long Chen knew that Men Qi was shy but another reason was that she was afraid Long Chen would take advantage of her. Then she would become someone who broke her promises, and she naturally wouldn't want something like that. Long Chen, Men Qi trembled slightly. She looked at him with warm and tender eyes. A burst of warmth filled her heart, and she wrapped her arms around Long Chen's neck and gave him a kiss. Long Chen didn't have the slightest wicked thought right now. Men Qi was like a fairy that couldn't be blasphemed. She was like a flawless jade. So perfect that a person couldn't bear to touch her. 
He lost himself in the feeling of her lips, in that connection between them. After an unknown amount of time, Menki suddenly escaped from their embrace with a startled cry, her face even redder than before. Cough. Sorry, it was just excitement. However, if I didn't get excited while holding such a beautiful woman in my hands, I definitely wouldn't be a man, laughed Long Chen. He awkwardly shifted, as pointing at someone was rude. Men Qi, let me tell you a story. Long Chen began to tell a story to relieve the awkwardness. As for Men Qi, she hadn't recovered from that unique feeling and still couldn't look at him. There was a man who was bathing in a bathtub. Nothing strange happened, but suddenly, the water level began to rapidly rise. Do you know why? Asked Long Chen. Why? He, it was because he suddenly saw his beloved woman. Long Chen suddenly began to laugh mischievously. At first, Men Qi didn't comprehend, but following Long Chen's mischievous laughter, along with what had just happened, she immediately rebuked. You scoundrel. She slammed the water, and a pillar of water shot at Long Chen. Long Chen was laughing, and as a result, the water surged into his nose and mouth, making him appear incredibly miserable while Men Qi laughed. Come, let me clean up my wife. Seeing that Men Qi was no longer so nervous, Long Chen held her hand. Now, Men Qi didn't refuse him. She allowed him to take off the rest of her clothes, completely revealing her flesh to him. Men Qi's body involuntarily trembled as Long Chen's hands touched her skin. Her eyes were half closed, and some faint sweat began to collect on her nose. Her gaze was blurred, bashful, and extremely moving. When the final piece was taken off, Long Chen couldn't help being filled with praise. The heavens really did possess supernatural sculpting abilities to make such a beautiful woman. Men Qi, you really are beautiful, praised Long Chen. His praise caused her to become a bit more clear-headed. Shaking off what had happened, she caressed Long Chen's cheek and asked, Long Chen, back when we first met in Phoenix Cry, did you intentionally put on an act because you wanted to obtain me? Long Chen nodded, yes, I did it on purpose. I deliberately made you feel guilty and feel pity for me. I used your kindness to seduce you. He didn't hesitate or try to cover up the truth at all. Caressing Men Qi's face, he looked into her eyes and said, Because I know that in this world, no one else can love you more than I do. No one else can devote their heart and soul to protect you like I do. Through the countless battles I fought, whenever I faced death, I always told myself that I couldn't die. Because if I died, then no one else in this would be able to love you the way I do. Long Chen. Men Qi wrapped her arms around Long Chen and tightly embraced him. Long Chen took a deep breath and did his best to suppress his hot blood. He felt like something hot was flowing through his nose and about to burst. He hastily suppressed it. He now slightly regretted this. He shouldn't have chosen to bathe together with Men Qi, because she was truly too attractive. At the same time, he had also overestimated his self-control. Wasn't he an idiot? Why had he decided to torture himself? Originally. He had just been planning on helping Men Qi clean herself off. Now he found that all his energy had to be focused on suppressing his own desires. It was Men Qi who had to help him clean his body. After a bitter trial, they finally finished bathing. Long Chen circulated the earth flame and used it to scour the space around them before forming a barrier. In this space, there would be nothing from this world to stick to them. They also did a thorough examination of their bodies. After checking with their spiritual strength and confirming there was nothing suspicious, they took out new clothes from their spatial rings. After putting on new clothes, they looked at each other with anticipation. They were finally about to be freed from the feeling of suppression here. They smiled at each other. Although they couldn't take another step in their relationship, bathing together had brought their hearts closer. All right, let's go. Men Qi tightly held on to Long Chen, and Long Chen also wrapped an arm around her, with his right hand. He crushed the world-piercing jade talisman. A spatial portal appeared in front of them. Long Chen jumped in with Men Qi. Their vision twisted as they appeared in the original mountain valley. He, Long Chen, we've been waiting for you for a long time. Long Chen had only just appeared when four red-robed experts surrounded them. Chapter 762 Catching a Turtle in a Jar Translator Born to be corrupt experts. Long Chen's expression changed. These four people possessed an extremely powerful aura one that he had only ever sensed from the Visect Master. Ancestor experts? What a trap. Fury crept across Long Chen's face, and he even ended up crushing the world-piercing jade talisman in his hand. Ha ha ha. Yes, a trap. Unfortunately, you realized it too late, laughed one of the corrupt experts. Long Chen, we really put in a lot of effort to deal with you. 
for ancestor experts. You can die without regret. Men Qi stealthily made some small signs to Long Chen, but Long Chen shook his head. There's no need to waste the effort. They're all foundation forging experts, people on the level of the Visect Master. We have no ability to resist. Men Qi was startled. She had wanted Long Chen to prepare himself while she summoned the Blood Phoenix to handle them. Even if it wouldn't be able to kill them, both of them should be able to flee. But now that he said this, she had no idea what he was planning. You're pretty smart, little fellow. Yes, if you don't struggle, you won't have to suffer so much. He, come with us without struggling. Don't force us to fight with an amateur at the Xi'anchen realm, said one of the corrupt experts. Obviously, a foundation forging expert had a foundation forging expert's pride. Experts in this realm were the masters of large sects. That was why they were called ancestor experts, because they possessed the qualifications to start their own renowned sects. So for a foundation forging expert to target a Xi'anchen rookie was truly a loss of status, especially when it was four against one. It was clearly too much, but the corrupt path viewed Long Chen too importantly now. In the chaos region, they hadn't killed him, but they had lost five sea expansion experts, nine celestials, and 80,000 elite disciples. Even now, this incident was still a mystery for the corrupt path, and the only one who could resolve that mystery was Long Chen. So the corrupt path didn't dare to be the slightest bit careless now. They had to capture him. Thus, they had sent out four foundation forging experts at once. Wait a moment. I, Long Chen, am a grand and heroic figure. How can I just allow myself to be taken without a struggle? You have to first agree to one of my conditions, said Long Chen. Conditions? HMPH. What qualifications do you have to discuss those? You want to know who sold you out? Don't bother. The corrupt experts looked at him disdainfully. Long Chen disdainfully looked back. TCH, have your brains been eaten by maggots? I already know who sold me out, so why would I have to ask you? The four of them were enraged. His tone was completely unacceptable. One of the more patient ones asked, then what is your condition? They naturally hoped to capture Long Chen alive. Not only did they want his memories, but they also wanted to obtain what he had on him, just in terms of the physical body. He had to have some sort of secret for him to be so strong. My condition is extremely simple. Kneel on the ground and call me daddy. Then I'll immediately leave with you. Long Chen suddenly laughed. Bastard. You dare to trick us. The four of them all realized Long Chen was playing around with them. He had never had any intentions of discussing things with them. Tricking you? You're right. I'll tell you the truth now. I am also a foundation forging expert. So come and test your daddy Long's true power. Boom. Long Chen's aura erupted and his divine ring appeared. A powerful pillar of ki soared into the sky. The four of them jumped. Long Chen was also a foundation forging expert? Even if he beat them to death, they wouldn't believe such a thing. They all watched with rapt attention, wanting to see whether Long Chen was just trying to act mystical or whether he really had any power. But suddenly, a formation under Long Chen's feet lit up. Spatial power erupted, and the four corrupt experts suddenly found that they were unable to move. Buzz. The world around them twisted. They were horrified to find that they had appeared on a large platform. Countless figures were watching them like they were rare species. Welcome to the Zhuanshan Dao sect it really was rude for us to not welcome you at the door. The vice sect master stood in the air, smiling lightly at the four of them. What? Their expressions completely changed. They looked around and saw a sea of people around them. They were the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. Everything had already been prepared by Long Chen. He had felt that his trip to the spirit world wouldn't be so simple. Therefore, he had borrowed a transportation formation disc from the Visect Master. It had to be known that the Zhuanshan Dao sect had only had two such large-scale transportation formation discs. At first, the Visect Master hadn't even wanted to lend it to him. But Long Chen guaranteed that either he wouldn't use it, or in the case if he did, he would rake in an unimaginable profit. If he didn't use the disc, then it wouldn't use up any of its energy so there would be no loss. Furthermore, Xu Wuhan had also spoken up for him, allowing him to finally obtain it. As soon as they arrived in this world, he had crushed a jade seal. That seal had activated the formation disc as well as the photographic jades on the mountain peaks. Long Chen estimated that if they really did target him this time, there would be some big fish. So he had set up those special photographic jades to project their images on the Zhuanshan platform. The Zhuanshan platform was the center of the Zhuanshan plaza. When the projection had appeared, the disciples there had all been startled. 
Long Chen was actually surrounded by four corrupt ancestor experts. As for when Long Chen had crushed the world-piercing Jade Talisman in his panic, he had also crushed the Jade Seal he had used to activate everything. Furthermore, when the Jade Seal was crushed, the Visect Master received a message. He had rushed over to the Zhuanshan Plaza to see everything. He had hastily ordered the activation of the Grand Formation, as well as activating the Trapping Formation and Killing Formation on the Zhuanshan platform. Then he watched as Long Chen calmly talked nonsense with them. He knew Long Chen was stalling for them to set up the formations. But in truth, he had already finished the preparations in just a few breaths time. Then when the formation disc was activated, Long Chen released his powerful aura to conceal the fluctuations. As a result, the four of them really cooperated with him perfectly. Long Chen and Men Qi were by the Visect Master's side. He had activated the formation to pull them out as soon as they had appeared. He, you really are idiots. Do you know how united our righteous path is? Did you really think we would harm ourselves? It seems you still don't understand what happened within the chaos region. You idiots really never learn. No matter how many times you're tricked. Long Chen laughed with a pleased expression. The four corrupt experts were completely enraged. His words made them suspect that what had happened within the chaos region had all been planned by the righteous path. Now, they had been tricked once more. You bastards how shy am I? Even as ghosts, we won't let you off, roared one of the corrupt experts as he began to crazily attack the formation. Zhao Shian Ai turned pale and sat on the ground. The Zhuanshan platform was merely a mile wide. It was usually used by the higher-ups as a place to lecture on the Dao. Many disciples hadn't known that the Zhuanshan platform was so powerful. The entire Zhuanshan platform was covered in runes. They formed a powerful defensive barrier that trapped the four of them. No matter how they tried. They were unable to break through it. Activate the killing formation, ordered the Visect Master. Countless flying swords condensed in the air and shot toward the four of them. One of them punched out, destroying a dozen flying words. That caused the monastery head experts' expressions to change. Just one of those flying swords would have the power to kill them. But these corrupt experts were able to destroy a dozen of them with a single punch. Work hard, work hard. You can do it. Long Chen cheered for them as they struggled bitterly. The four of them were fuming with rage. One of them ended up getting distracted and hit by a flying sword. It pierced through his shoulder, bringing with it a spray of blood. Oh, you're bleeding? Is this your legendary first time? Asked Long Chen in shock. Long Chen. Men Qi finally couldn't bear it anymore. She didn't have Long Chen's thick face. And she hastily pulled him away. Not letting him continue to spout nonsense. What? Suddenly, one of the corrupt experts took out a soul banner but he found that he was unable to activate this treasure item. An invisible energy here blocked his connection to it. Sorry, the rules here are that no one can use weapons above the enchanted level on the Zhuanshan Plaza, said the Visect Master. His normally stern face was lit up in a smile. It had to be known that the deed of killing four corrupt foundation forging experts along with gathering their corpses and souls would be greatly rewarded by the head sect in all his years running the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The number of corrupt foundation forging experts they had cut down was pitifully low. Now four had come at once. If he didn't care about his status, the Visect Master would probably be dancing in delight. This was definitely the Eastern Wastelands Branch Sect's greatest battle achievement. The disciples watched in shock as the four of them struggled desperately. Finally, after two hours, they were killed by the formation. Once they were killed, runes lit up on the formation and gathered their souls and corpses. It would be possible to see some of their secrets through their souls. The Visect Master smiled and disappeared as he turned to look at Zhao Shian Ai icily. Zhao Shian Ai, you better give me a satisfactory explanation this time. Chapter 763 Would they still have done it? Translator. Born to be Visect Master. Please spare my life. Zhao Shian Ai directly knelt on the ground. He knew there was no way for him to argue his way out of this. The four corrupt expert souls were in the Visect Master's hands. All he could hope was that he wouldn't be killed. Zhao Shian Ai, why would you be so foolish? Not even the lesson from the chaos region taught you anything. You should accept the punishment for your sins, said the Visect Master coldly. Although the chaos region matter had been led by the Pill Tower, the Zhao family had also participated. When the Visect Master had learned about the disturbance within the chaos region, Zhao Shian Ai had already made ample preparations and left behind no evidence. If Long Chen's photographic jades hadn't appeared, there would have been no way to prove that the Zhao family had been involved at all. 
because the Zhao family had then been forced to sacrifice Zhao King Gaiyu and her son, as well as paying a huge amount in compensation. The Visek master had thought that the Zhao family would reserve themselves a bit. Most importantly, he had also warned them all several times during the trials that they could fight, but they had to keep it within the limits. However, Zhao Xianai had clearly not taken his words to heart. He had actually colluded with the corrupt path, even if it wasn't to target Long Chen. Just the sin of colluding with the corrupt path was enough for him to die a hundred times. Visek master, please spare me. Disciple was just muddle-hated, cried Zhao Xianai through tears. He really was afraid now as he didn't want to die. It was always people who were older that longed for life more. Fool, what you committed wasn't a mistake but an absolute taboo. Even the sect master wouldn't be able to protect you. The vice sect master shook his head. Although he was a solemn person, he actually was very soft-hearted. It was precisely because the four family heads had realized his nature that their inner battle became increasingly intense. But today, there was clearly no way for him to let Zhao Xianai off. Fine, since that's the case, then I won't make it hard on you. I wish to report that it was Xu Yankong who incited me to do this. What no one had expected was for Zhao Xianai to suddenly pull in Xu Yankong. Zhao Xianai, don't slander others, raged Xu Yankong. HMPH, Xu Yankong, if it weren't for you, how could I end up like this? If I'm dying, then don't think about getting to live happily. If it weren't for what you did to the world piercing Jade Talisman. How could I have found Long Chen's position? And then how could I leak the information to the corrupt path? I'm sorry to tell you that I recorded our conversation, so you can accompany me in death. Zhao Xianai laughed crazily and took out a photographic jade. That was a very high-level photographic jade and an extremely expensive one. When it was activated, the fluctuations were practically impossible to sense. Even sea expansion experts were unable to sense it. Xu Yankong's expression completely changed. He suddenly charged over and snatched the photographic jade away. Right in front of the Visect Master, he destroyed it. Do you think a rotten stone can frame me? You've gone crazy. Xu Yankong put on an expression of fury. He wanted to display the anger of a person who had been wrongly accused. The Visect Master indifferently watched them and sighed. You've really disappointed me. It seems you've been in power for so long that your heads have rotted. You've even forgotten the Zuanchen Dao sect's rules. Did you think you could stand above the rules with your statuses? Anyone who colluded with the corrupt path will be taken in by the law enforcers and soul sarked. Even those who were involved will be soul sarked. Did you think destroying the proof would save you? You really have gotten old. So old that your head no longer works. Where are the law enforcers? Bring them away. Law enforcement disciples came over and icily said to Zhao Xianai and Xu Yankong. Please. After all, they were two family heads and so they didn't use force against them. But the law enforcement disciples were neutral within the Zhuanchen Dao sect no matter what their statuses were. They still had to listen to their orders, or they would be immediately arrested. Vi sect master, my family head was just muddle-hated in his old age. I wish to take his punishment. Suddenly, Shu Guan's he stood out, startling everyone. The Vi sect master icily glanced at him. Don't think that a rank 3 celestial is above the Zhuanchen Dao sect's rules. Even a rank 9 celestial isn't, let alone you. Pray that this matter didn't involve you, or the law enforcement hall's blade will also take your head. The Visect Master was already infuriated because the two family heads had committed such a disgraceful act. As the person in charge, he was also responsible. Then, this pampered brat Shu Guan's he had actually vainly thought to use his newfound status as a rank 3 celestial to save Shu Yunkong. That made him even more furious because he already loathed people like that who thought themselves to be so important. Long Chen and Men Qi were startled. Although they had been prepared, they hadn't thought that Xu Guan's he would advance so quickly. It was also surprising that the Visect Master would actually not give a Rank 3 Celestial any face at all. Xu Guan's he hadn't expected that his advancement would be valued so little in the eyes of the Visect Master. He clenched his teeth furiously. The two family heads were also panicked. They hadn't expected this matter to have blown up this big. Although they normally fought against each other constantly, it was like a chess game. It wasn't a fight to the death. But now the situation was grave. The Ku family head and the Wang family head looked at each other and then walked out and directly knelt in front of the Visect Master. Please be lenient, Visect Master. Although the two of them committed a taboo, they've worked for the Zhuanchen Dao sect for so long. Even if they didn't make contributions, 
they still toiled for the sect please spare their lives. After all, they had known each other for so long, and they didn't have that many years left. The two of them ended up feeling pity for them, like a fox that grieves when the rabbit is dead. They definitely had to receive a heavy punishment, but as long as it wasn't the death penalty, they would feel better. A generation's family had, that was a dignified position. If they were killed just like this, they really would be unable to accept it. Zhao Shian I and Chu Guan's he looked at the two of them in shock. At this time, these old fellows they had fought against for countless years had actually knelt and begged for leniency for them. They couldn't help feeling emotional. Their hearts also became a bit clearer. Zhao Shian I suddenly said, Bisect Master, in truth, I was lying just now. Everything was done by me. Shu Yankong is innocent. Shu Yankong looked at him in surprise. In that instant, he thought of many things. The resentments and grudges from many years instantly resolved. This matter truly was done by me, said Shu Yankong. Brother Yankong, said Zhao Shian I, say no more. We've fought for a lifetime. So if you die, I won't have an opponent. Let's go together. At least we'll have an opponent on the way, said Shu Yankong, patting Zhao Shian I's shoulder. Family head. The Shu family and Zhao family's disciples all knelt on the ground at the same time. What are you doing? Get up, shouted Shu Yankong. Don't make things harder on the Visek master. A mistake is a mistake. As the family head, I have even more responsibility to face the consequences of my actions. The disciples didn't say a word. There were several of them who quietly sobbed. Long Chen had never thought that things would progress like this. The specter of death had given them a moment of enlightenment. Their resentment from years of fighting had actually disappeared. Visek master, Long Chen opened his mouth. In any case, he hadn't taken any loss this time. This matter could end like this. Long Chen, don't plead for leniency for us, said Shu Yankong suddenly. We thank you for the thought. Just this magnanimity of yours has shown us how worthless our lives were. An hour ago, even we definitely wouldn't be able to put aside our hatred after someone had entrapped us like we did to you. We're sorry to you. And we're sorry to the Zuantan Dao sect even if the Vice Sect Master agreed to spare us. We wouldn't have the face to continue living. All disciples listen to my orders. No one is allowed to bear a grudge against Long Chen. Otherwise, even in the Nine Springs, I wouldn't acknowledge such an unfilial descendant. Xu Yankong looked at Xu Guanzi when he said his final sentence. He was clearly warning him not to do anything. Brother, let's go, said Xu Yankong to Zhao Shian I. Zhao Shian I nodded. He merely smiled slightly and waved his hand to the Zhao family's disciples before going with the law enforcers. Everyone was silent for a moment. All their hearts were heavy. Even the Visek master's delight in killing four corrupt experts faded. Long Chen sighed. If they had known this day would come, would they still have done what they had done? Was it really true that people could only open their eyes once they reached the end and were about to depart from this world? Was that the only way for them to understand the truth about the world? Long Chen. Now you should be happy. Shu Guanzi he clenched his teeth. Everyone turned to look at him in surprise. Shu Guanzi he had clearly placed all his hatred on Long Chen. Was he going to target him now? It's still the same thing. When you want to die, come find me at any time, said Long Chen icily. He brought Men Qi over to Shu Wuhan's side and regrouped with Tang Wan Er and the others. They returned to their camp. Shu Wuhan's heart was clearly a bit heavy. After all, that was her uncle who had just been sent to his death. Although she normally hated how her family head was only full of schemes, looking at his back, she felt a bit of pain. No one celebrated, even though Long Chen had returned safely. Long Chen also knew that now wasn't the time to make any large movements. He had everyone continue to cultivate normally. Also, Men Qi gave Tang Wan or her new houseboats. Long Chen returned to his private room, and his mind entered the primal chaos space. He was going to check his harvests. Chapter 764 That fellow finally returns translator. Born to be there were four new large trees in the primal chaos space now. One of them was the especially large tree whose leaves were covered in runes. Although the trees hadn't completely matured yet, when Long Chen tested their life energy, he found that the three large trees had over ten times the life energy of his old trees. But when he tested the runic tree, he was shocked to find that its life energy was absolutely enormous. Furthermore, as he drew out its life energy, it absorbed the soil's energy to replenish itself. Just in terms of life energy, it had dozens of times more than the other three large trees combined. That was both startling and delightful to Long Chen. As expected, fortune existed within danger. 
Long Chen directly tossed away the three large trees and his old ones. He began to rapidly plant the runic tree's branches with set distances between them. Thinking of a 3,000-mile primal chaos space filled with this species of towering trees, Long Chen was delighted. He would practically have an undying body. Even if he was injured by a celestial's heavenly Dao energy, he would still be able to recover. After a day of work, Long Chen had planted 3,000 trees within the primal chaos space. It wasn't that he didn't want to plant more, but simply that he only had this much space. Once these trees matured, their crowns would be over 10 miles wide. Growing them too packed in an area wasn't a good idea. Increasing the amount to lower the quality wasn't a good idea. Now, other than one big tree, the rest were all tiny little sprouts. Long Chen knew that his bitter days had come again. Oh, I forgot. Long Chen suddenly recalled that he had four magical beast corpses. He directly tossed the magical beast he had killed underwater into the black soil. It finished devouring the corpse in just a few minutes. It was like the corpse had dissolved and endless life energy spread throughout the primal chaos space. The sprouts began to rapidly grow. One meter, ten meters, a hundred meters. In the blink of an eye, the three thousand sprouts grew to a height of three hundred meters, and they continued to rapidly grow. Long Chen was delighted. It seemed he would need to gather some stronger magical beast corpses in the future. When fighting others, if he exhausted the tree's life energy, he could rely on the magical beast corpses to heal. Those trees grew until they were over 600 meters tall and 30 meters thick. They appeared incredibly majestic. But Long Chen was curious why they didn't possess any of their own consciousness. They seemed like ordinary trees now, but back in the spirit world, it had been filled with a berserk will. It really is strange. These trees had to have secrets he was unaware of. Or was it that the primal chaos space's duplicated trees were different from the originals? After a moment of hesitation, Long Chen also threw the python's corpse into the black soil. As the primal chaos space grew, so did the area of the black soil. It was now 30 miles wide and could even fit in such a large magical beast. Once the python's corpse was absorbed, the trees once more grew, reaching a height of a thousand meters. But it was still a far cry from the huge, towering forest he had seen in the spirit world. However, in terms of life energy, these trees could already offer Long Chen hundreds or even thousands of times what his original trees could. In the end, he decided to temporarily not use the Azure Scale Horned Eagle and Nine Spike Lizard's corpses. He already had plans for the Nine Spike Lizard's hide. If he could make some leather armor for the Dragonblood Warriors, it would become a powerful defense for the Dragonblood Legion. Currently, he still had a few heavenly Deo fruits, but it wasn't enough for all the Dragonblood warriors to become celestials. Rather than having them advance one by one, it would be better to develop in a low-profile manner while they properly built their foundation. When the time came, they would all become celestials. Right now, Long Chen didn't dare to continue drawing attention, as he was worried about drawing more trouble. The immemorial path was on the verge of opening. It was better for them all to calmly cultivate here. In truth, Long Chen hadn't even been planning on allowing Gu Yang and the other captains to become celestials yet. But then, he thought to himself that true experts had to face danger, or they wouldn't be able to grow. He didn't have the right to strip them of those opportunities. Most importantly, they were strong enough. They definitely wouldn't be cannon fodder in the immemorial path. Retreating from the primal chaos space, Long Chen stretched. Little Snow quietly grumbled when he saw Long Chen awaken. Ha ha ha, good. Then let's go take a look. Little Snow said that Men Qi had come to tell Long Chen to go see the Visect Master. The Visect Master had come to see him two days ago. But because Long Chen had been in a meditative state, he hadn't disturbed him. In truth, at that time, Long Chen had been hard at work being a farmer. Little Snow, you can stay here. You can play with Sister Men Qi. Long Chen hugged Little Snow's head. He felt a bit sorry for Little Snow. The majority of the time when Long Chen was out, Little Snow stayed in his spiritual space. He rarely got a chance to accompany him. It had to be known that Little Snow was still young and still very much had a child's temperament. Having him stay in the spiritual space for so long was definitely not good. But luckily, Little Snow's body wasn't extremely large. Ordinarily, he could run around within the camp. As long as he didn't go out, no one would bother him. Long Chen went directly to see the Visect Master. The first thing the Visect Master said was, how were your gains in the spirit world? Not bad. We were lucky and obtained two Azure Scale Horned Eagle Chicks. Long Chen smiled. But he didn't bring up the Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix. 
Long Chen had also told Men Qi not to mention it and not to bring it out unless she was forced to. If she was to bring it out, then she had to kill her opponent. The Blood Phoenix would be her greatest trump card and the greatest assurance of her safety. If an expert wanted to live longer, they couldn't allow others to know their strongest trump cards. No matter how strong the trump card was, once others were on guard and knew how to counter it, it wouldn't possess any threat. In fact, once they came up with a plan to use against your trump card, it would be dangerous for you. Oh, the Azure Scale Horned Eagle possesses the ancient Dragon Eagle's bloodline. It's extremely powerful. Once matured, even a foundation forging expert would have to run if they didn't have a treasure item on hand. Your luck's not bad. But after the Visect Master said that, he felt like he had misspoken. That was because he saw Long Chen's expression had become a bit odd. He immediately realized that with Long Chen's heaven defying bad luck, perhaps they had run into quite a few twists and turns to make such gains. It could be said that whether it had been to capture magical beasts or to find stronger trees, Long Chen's luck had been extremely lacking. That was especially true when that unimaginably terrifying existence had ended up coming out just because he had taken a branch off the runic tree. How could he accept the praise that his luck was not bad? Long Chen didn't want to discuss this topic any further. What about the Zhao and Shu family heads? They're both dead. Not only them, but seven monastery heads were also executed with them. A dim light appeared in the Visect Master's eyes. If only he had been more strict, perhaps there wouldn't have been such an ending. A person has to know how to feel reverence and gratitude, or they will have no bottom line to hold back their own depravities. In the end, they'll simply be devoured by their desires and become a walking corpse. Although it's a bit regretful, at least the two of them ended up comprehending everything in the end, said Long Chen. The Visect Master looked at Long Chen for a long while before sighing. Even a child can see things more clearly than us old fellows. It really is too ironic. Visect Master, you overpraise me. I'm just spouting nonsense, said Long Chen hastily. How regretful that their comprehension came too late. I also understood what I should have done too late. The Visect Master shook his head. It could be said that the loss of two family heads and seven monastery heads was a large blow to the core strength of their branch sect Visect Master. You're overthinking it. A sect has its own fate just like how a person has their own fate. You can't change someone else's fate. In this world. The only one capable of helping someone is themselves. Using myself as an example, although I might have bad luck that makes it so I have to put in more effort than anyone else, I don't complain. A person's luck is faded, but fate is not something that cannot be changed. It just depends on whether or not you want to fight against the heavens. If you want to change your own fate, you don't only have to struggle against the heavens, but you also have to struggle against yourself. Regretfully. Those two family heads and seven monastery heads weren't able to overcome the demons in their hearts and were devoured. Long Chen shrugged. Ha ha ha. Well said. Wuhan said you were pretty smart. Now I realize what she meant. If your soul didn't match your body, I'd even suspect your body was being controlled by some old demon. Laughed the Visect Master. He was surprised to hear that Long Chen's theory was very similar to what the sect master had told him. Although the specifics were different, what they expressed were shockingly alike. Visect Master, did you have something you needed me for? Asked Long Chen. That's right. You have done a great deed. By killing four corrupt foundation forging experts, our Deo sect was gifted a huge reward. As for you, you can choose any treasure item in the Deo sect as your personal reward. Don't blame me for being stingy, as the sect's reward is still in the application process. Once the head sect sends down the reward, you'll be given quite a bit more, said the Visect Master. In truth. Killing four corrupt foundation forging experts would definitely shake the righteous path. This matter had already been reported, but they had to wait for the higher-ups to approve the reward before it came. The reward for killing those four without spilling a drop of blood was definitely immense. But the Visect Master was rather conservative, choosing to only give Long Chen a treasure item for now. But once the reward came, the surplus would be given to Long Chen. Then I'll pick that spear. Long Chen chose that spear for Gu Yang. After all. Gu Yang was one of the leaders of the Dragonblood Legion, and he needed a good weapon. As for Yu Zifeng, Long Chen decided not to give him such a good weapon so early. The most important thing for sword cultivators were their hearts, not their weapons. On his way back from the Visect Masters, Long Chen was passing through the plaza when he suddenly heard a heaven-shaking roar. He saw a large crowd up ahead. Hearing that voice, Long Chen was startled and delighted. That fellow had finally returned. He rushed over. 
Chapter 765 Wild Returns Translator Born to be speak How did my brother Long die? That furious roar was incredibly imposing. It was like the roar of a god, and it shook the entire Zhuangchen Dao sect, even echoing several times. Boom. Long Chen forced his way through powerful astral winds. Countless disciples cried out in shock and were blown back. He saw a huge fellow over three meters tall carrying a bone club in his hand. In front of him was a large crater. At the bottom of that crater was a shocked Shao Wuji. The lower half of his body had completely disappeared now. He looked at that giant in absolute terror. You won't say. Then you're definitely the one who killed Brother Long. I'll get revenge for him. That giant was precisely the Long missing Wild. Wild's hair trailed over his shoulders. And he wore beast hide. He had an immense bone club in his hand. One that was four meters long and as thick as a man's thigh. Its whole body was like jade. And it was covered in strange lines. It was impossible to tell what beast that bone came from. Wild was releasing killing intent. He seemed like a ferocious tiger. And he simply swung his club down. Whistling winds erupted. And Zhao Wuji was horrified to find that he was completely locked down by a terrifying power. He didn't even have the chance to dodge. He could only close his eyes and wait for death. Wild. Stop. Long Chen jumped in fright. He hadn't expected Wild to be so terrifying. Xiao Wuji didn't even have the ability to retaliate. Brother Long. Wild hastily stopped his attack. Seeing the person in front of him, he began to sob. He directly charged over and tightly embraced Long Chen. Brother Long. You're not dead. You're not dead. This bastard dared to trick me. Even with Long Chen's powerful physical body, he felt like he was about to be crushed by Wild's huge muscles. At the same time, he didn't know whether to laugh or cry. This fellow had gotten so much stronger, but his intelligence hadn't grown at all. He was still like a child. Yes, your brother Long is still alive. Your brother Long will always be alive and here for you. What happened? Long Chen patted Wild. He really would be unable to endure if this continued for too long. Wild's strength was just that terrifying. Only then did Wild let go. He pointed at Xiao Wuji. I came to find brother Long, and he asked me who my brother Long was. When I said Long Chen, he tricked me and said you were dead. Just looking at him, I knew he wasn't some good person. When I asked him who killed brother Long, he refused to say. So I smashed him with my club. As expected, this bastard really isn't a good person. He actually lied to me. Although his story was a bit muddled and unclear, Long Chen could guess the gist of it. Most likely, when Wild had arrived, his huge stature had drawn over all the surrounding people. Then he had most likely asked about him and Xiao Wuji had sarcastically said that Long Chen was dead. As a result, this little joke ended up with him almost dying to Wild. Xiao Wuji had already used the Heavenly Dao recovery to regrow his lower half, but his face was pale as paper. One reason was due to the exhaustion of his core energy, while another was fright. When Wild attacked, there were no spiritual yuan fluctuations, so it was impossible to tell when he would strike. As a result, when Wild's club had landed on him, despite doing his best to dodge, the lower half of his body had still been destroyed. Furthermore, Wild's second attack had come before he could even raise any defenses. If it weren't for Long Chen, Xiao Wuji would be dead. Long Chen was startled by Wild's power. He knew Wild didn't get stronger through cultivation. He didn't even know how to circulate spiritual key. Even now, he didn't know what the five meridians in his body were for. All his power was focused on his physical body. Others couldn't tell his next move through his aura because there were no spiritual key fluctuations. When someone fought Wild for the first time, they would definitely end up suffering. Where is Senior Kang Ming? Asked Long Chen. He didn't see Kang Ming anywhere. Master He. He. Tears began to leak from Wild's eyes again. The surrounding people all looked at this oddly. A giant as powerful as Wild would actually cry so much. What? A bad feeling filled Long Chen. What happened here? Suddenly, the Visect Master's voice rang out. Long Chen jumped. He hadn't expected this matter to end up disturbing the Visect Master. Reporting to Visect Master, this is my brother who only just returned. Xiao Wuji made a joke toward him, but my brother has a child's character, and he's unable to understand that kind of joke. And as a result, he, well, it really is embarrassing. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. This matter couldn't be blamed on Wild. If someone had to be blamed, then it would have to be Xiao Wuji for having such a wretched mouth. Wild's nature was pure and simple. He believed whatever someone said. The fact that he hadn't killed him should be enough for Xiao Wuji to thank his ancestors for their protection. The Visect Master looked at Wild in shock. 
He had never seen such a huge person. He was over three meters tall and had bulging muscles filled with explosive power. It was like he was a beast in human form. Even the Visect Master felt a great deal of pressure. Wild. Greet the Visect Master, said Long Chen. Greetings, Visect Master. It was a good thing Long Chen had taught Wild some simple manners and that he still remembered. That was already amazing for him. Go back for now. Don't cause so much trouble. The Visect Master looked from the large crater to the pale Xiao Wuji. Right now. He had too many things on his mind and no time. He had already realized that Long Chen was a bringer of trouble. Either he found trouble for others, or others found trouble for him. But in the end, he would be the one who handled the aftermath. Only then did Long Chen bring Wild back to their camp. Looking at their backs, everyone understood that the 36th Super Monastery was perhaps about to launch a thorough counterattack. Long Chen was already terrifying enough. Now. There was someone even more terrifying than Long Chen who had almost killed Xiao Wuji with a single smash of his club. Once Long Chen and Wild arrived, the entire Dragon Blood Legion cheered and went over to give Wild a hug. But when Gu Yang was hugged by Wild and almost coughed up blood, they decided to change how they expressed their delight. Wild was also extremely happy, so happy that his tears once more flowed. Long Chen felt a burst of emotion. Wild might be a giant, but in truth, in terms of mental development, he was still a child. This child had definitely suffered quite a few hardships on his trip. Once everyone finished celebrating, Long Chen gathered all the Dragon Blood Legion to hold a welcoming feast. Even Xu Wuhan had come. Xu Wuhan had calmed her heart and accepted the changes to the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Long Chen asked Wild about what had happened during this time. Wild told everyone a muddled explanation that shocked them all. Although there were definitely problems with how Wild recounted stories. They were able to figure out most of it. When Wild and Kang Ming left the first monastery, they had gone to a wild forest to hunt. This wild forest was truly barren. There were no cultivators at all, but there were plenty of magical beasts. It was said that there were even higher rank magical beasts deeper within. Kang Ming had brought Wild there precisely for those magical beasts. This was the best place for Wild to grow. With a Xi'anshan expert guarding him, Wild would also be safe. At first, Kang Ming directly hunted down Xi'anshan magical beasts for Wild, and Wild ate as many as he killed. With each day, his power rapidly grew. In less than a month, his power had reached the level of a Xi'anshan magical beast. Occasionally, when they encountered some weaker magical beasts, Wild could kill them by himself. After two months, Wild was entirely capable of hunting by himself. Only when they encountered late Xi'anshan magical beasts would the two kill them together. Wild's rapid advancement made Kang Ming incredibly excited. In less than half a year, the amount of Xi'anshan magical beasts that Wild had eaten could form a huge mountain. Others really were unable to understand just what was inside Wild's stomach. It was like a bottomless pit. He could consume three Xi'anshan magical beasts in one go. After half a year, Wild's strength had far surpassed Kang Ming's understanding, and his skin had become a bronze color. His strength was growing greater and greater. The two of them began to place their sights on sea expansion magical beasts, otherwise known as 7th rank magical beasts. But those were naturally just ordinary magical beasts that couldn't compare to the azure scale horned eagle. In fact, they couldn't even compare to the python that the eagle had killed. After all, this world's magical beasts didn't possess pure bloodlines, and their power had fallen greatly. This was also why Long Chen had brought Menki to the spirit world to capture houseboats. Most of the pure bloodline magical beasts in this world had already gone extinct. Although their first time hunting a 7th rank magical beast had been dangerous, when Wild released his full power accompanied by Kang Ming, they had still managed to kill it. Hearing that, everyone was shaken. At that time, they had only just entered the Xi'anshan realm, but Wild had already been capable of killing a 7th rank magical beast. With the flesh of 7th rank magical beasts, Wild's power grew explosively. By then, Wild was no longer interested in Xi'anshan magical beasts. He only treated those as snacks. He started to become picky about his food. The flesh of 7th rank magical beasts simply tasted too good to him. As a result, the two of them entered deeper into the forest in search of more 7th rank magical beasts. But there were few 7th rank magical beasts, and they only managed to find three of them. One of them was incredibly powerful. Unable to defaturing Wild, it actually fled. While chasing after it, Wild and Kang Ming encountered a group of people. That had been the most painful day of Wild's life. His memories of that day would never be forgotten. 
because that was the day that Kang Ming had left him forever. Chapter 766 Seclusion Break Translator Born to be the group they had encountered had been experts from the corrupt path. The two sides had started a fierce battle, but they had been startled to find that there were countless experts that continued to surge out without end. Xu Wuhan guessed that Wild and Kang Ming had accidentally found one of the corrupt path's strongholds. The corrupt path had many secret strongholds that were hidden throughout the world. The righteous path had fought them for so many years, but they had been unable to locate their true hive. Other than their main stronghold, they had countless others spread around. In truth, these strongholds were all transportation formations. They could transport people from their main stronghold to these smaller ones. That allowed them to stretch their sinister claws all over the land. Most likely, the corrupt path had been thinking of undergoing some kind of operation when Wild ran into them. According to Wild, there had been too many people. They had only been at the Xianchen realm. But then, more and more of them had come. In the end, not only had sea expansion experts come, but even experts above sea expansion had come. Although Wild wasn't able to tell their cultivation basis, Long Chen could guess from his story that three ancestor experts had actually come. Kang Ming had been killed. At that moment, buzzing had filled Wild's head, and then, he didn't know what had happened afterward. When he woke up, he saw that everyone around him was dead, and the land had been completely destroyed. There were also countless large footprints that appeared extremely frightening. A feeling of indescribable hunger had filled him. He felt like he had no energy at all. In that extremely weak state, he struggled to hunt in the forest to replenish his energy. Kang Ming's death filled Wild with grief for a long time. He had searched the battlefield many times, but he hadn't found his corpse. In the end, he could only try to think of some way to return home. But Wild didn't know his way back at all. He couldn't even tell east from west. Even if he had a map, he couldn't read it. As a result, he could only wander around within the forest, constantly killing magical beasts to replenish his energy. In the end, he finally encountered a group of adventurers who were in a crisis. He killed the magical beast attacking them saving their lives. They were extremely grateful to him, and so they stopped their adventure and sent Wild to the first monastery. Since the first monastery was still under construction, he had been sent on to the 36th supermonastery. There, the temporary monastery head had finally learned his lesson because his Zhao family head had been killed. He no longer dared to cause any trouble, and he obediently gave Wild an identity badge and sent him to the transportation formation. Thus, Wild arrived at the Zhuanshan Dao sect upon arriving, a crowd had formed around him, as his stature was truly shocking. Someone asked him if he was looking for someone, and Wild obediently said he was looking for his brother Long. When someone else asked him who his brother Long was, he responded that it was Long Chen. As a result, that idiot Xiao Wuji had come and said that Long Chen was already dead. In truth, he was just speaking from anger, but these words had been taken as the truth by Wild. Having just lost Kang Ming, he couldn't hold back his rage. That had resulted in the incident. Xu Wuhan was speechless. There really wasn't a single normal person beside Long Chen. This terrifying giant possessed such immense power but was still such a child. Foolish brat. What did I tell you? Your brother Long is the strongest and will never die, said Long Chen. I know, but master, he, I was afraid. Wild's eyes reddened. Back when he had encountered Long Chen in his starving state on the street. Long Chen had become his only family. No one had ever treated him so well. Later, Kang Ming had become his master, and had raised him like he was his child. That unstinting care had deeply touched him. Then having lost his master, he had been filled with terror that his only family would also be taken away. All right, let's not talk about that. Where did you get this club? Asked Long Chen. My old club broke in battle. This is something I found deep in a cave. It's just the right size, and it's heavy enough. It's really great. Wild passed the bone club to Long Chen. Long Chen received the club and found that it was extremely heavy. It didn't feel like bone at all. More like cold metal. It looked like it was covered in cracks. But those were actually runic lines that gave off strange fluctuations. This bone is extremely powerful. It possesses natural runes that can be used for activating magical arts. Furthermore, it also seems to be in the midst of absorbing some kind of energy and awakening. Xu Wuhan looked at the bone with shock. After all, as a monastery head, she had much more experience than rookies like Long Chen. She immediately saw through the strangeness of the bone. To be able to merge its core runes and essence blood into the bone marrow, and to have countless years pass without its spirituality fading, 
Whatever beast this bone is from was definitely exceedingly powerful. Wild really has a fool's luck, praised Menki. Hearing her praise, Wild laughed foolishly. Now that he was together with everyone, he returned to his simple and honest self. Monastery head, can Wild attend the immemorial path? Asked Long Chen. Of course, all celestial level experts can attend. You don't necessarily have to be a celestial. As long as your combat power has reached that level, you can attend. Furthermore, our super monastery has quite a few extra spots from your display during the trials. You can even bring in others, said Shu Wuhan. Boss, hearing that, several squad leaders stood up. Obviously, they also wanted to enter the immemorial path. But Long Chen shook his head. You're thinking about it too simply. If those spots really were such amazing things, you wouldn't even be able to get them. Even celestials won't necessarily be able to survive in the immemorial path. If ordinary disciples entered, they really would be less than cannon fodder. That's correct. The danger inside far surpasses your imagination. Even if you were a celestial, you would have to be extremely careful all the time, or you might lose your life, said Shu Wuhan. Those squad leaders couldn't help being disappointed, but they definitely wouldn't ignore Long Chen's orders. Don't worry, once we get back from there, we'll definitely bring you all treasures. Don't make things hard on boss. Boss wasn't even thinking of bringing me in because it's just too dangerous. If any of you died, wouldn't our Legion become forever incomplete, said Gu Yang. Only then did everyone nod. Even someone on Gu Yang's level was someone Long Chen was reluctant to bring in. They didn't have any qualifications to complain. There's still some time until the immemorial path opens. We should focus on increasing our cultivation basis. Especially me. I'm the one with the lowest cultivation base now. Long Chen bitterly smiled. After all this time, Long Chen's cultivation base had only reached the fifth heaven stage. As for the rest of the Dragonblood Legion, even the weakest person had already reached the eighth heaven stage. The majority had already reached the ninth heaven stage, while the captains like Gu Yang had already touched the border of sea expansion. Wild excitedly celebrated with everyone for a long time upon returning, but after a while, he ended up falling deeply asleep. After setting up a room for Wild, Long Chen also began to cultivate. He began to refine pills to increase his cultivation base. Although consuming the Enlightenment Palace pills could also increase his cultivation base, it was just too slow. The majority of the medicinal energy of the Enlightenment Palace pills was absorbed by the star. Less than a tenth of it went to increase his cultivation base. Furthermore, Long Chen had more levels to advance than others. Others could advance upon breaking through 10 levels, but he had 13 levels to advance through. Although condensing the Enlightenment Palace star was important, cultivation base was also important. Shu Guanxi and the others were already at the peak of the Xianchen realm and had begun to touch the sea expansion barrier. If they all advanced and expanded their key seas, allowing their spiritual yuan reserves to multiply by over a hundred times, then his current superiority would vanish. Long Chen couldn't help bitterly smiling. His cultivation base and power had clearly continued to grow, but he still was unable able to get a break. He didn't even have time to take a breath. In order to not be devoured, he could only put his life on the line. Long Chen had no choice but to slow down condensing the Enlightenment Palace star. He decided to increase his cultivation base along with condensing the star. With Huo Long helping him, all Long Chen needed to do was make sure he filled his stomach. Time passed quickly, and in the blink of an eye, over a month had gone by. Long Chen had consumed so many pills that he had almost vomited. He felt like when he hiccuped, it was medicinal fragrance that came out. But after smelling that medicinal fragrance for so long, he didn't even smell it anymore. Despite his willpower, he felt like he was about to go crazy. But he had truly made some great gains. The Enlightenment Palace star was fully condensed and had undergone the second of the nine star transformations. His cultivation base had continuously advanced and now he was at the ninth heaven stage. To advance four minor realms so quickly was truly shocking. However, Long Chen wasn't afraid of his foundation becoming unsteady. If it hadn't been for the fact that he really was unable to continue eating pills, he still could have continued advancing. He had to prepare himself to eat pills like they were candy in the future. Once Long Chen left seclusion, he found that Men Qi and Tang Wan'er had also returned. During this time, they had been out raising the two Azure Scale Horned Eagles. They had already reached the fourth rank. Long Chen had no choice but to praise the power of beast tamers. They had actually been able to raise them so quickly. Long Chen thought about it, and he decided to give the nine spike lizards corpse to Tang Wan'er. 
she could use it as feed for her birds. As for the matured azure scale horned eagle, Long Chen decided to give its corpse to Wild. That child needed flesh. Counting the days, the immemorial path would soon be opening. Long Chen decided to not continue cultivating and relax a bit. After all, having such tense nerves wasn't good for cultivation. Through some small channels, Long Chen learned that there was a pool in the northern part of the Zhuangshan Dao sect within that pool was a kind of precious fish that was incredibly delicious. Long Chen decided to stealthily get a few of those fish for a good meal. Chapter 767 Silvery Fish Translator Born to be there was an extremely secluded and peaceful pool in the northern part of the Zhuangshan Dao sect but disciples were not permitted to enter this place. However, Long Chen stealthily slipped past the guards. The lake was merely a few miles wide. The water was extremely clear, but it was impossible to see the bottom because it was just too deep. The rumor was that it reached the sea below the ground, but no one was clear what that underground sea was. Within this pool was a certain kind of fish known as the silvery fish. This fish had no scales and had three red patches on its back. In truth, those red patches were its sensory organs. Its silver eyes were unable to see anything. Perhaps it was due to living so deep all the time that their eyes had degenerated. Menki had previously told him that the silvery fish was rumored to be so delicious that even gods would long to eat it. It also was beneficial to the soul. Long Chen gulped down his saliva. Just thinking about it made him drool. It seemed he was completely different from Wild now. Wild didn't seem to have any taste buds at all. He didn't even care if what he ate was raw or cooked. As long as there was enough energy in it, he didn't care about taste. At first, Long Chen wasn't used to seeing him consuming raw food like that, but now he was getting accustomed to it. Wild ate things too quickly, and if he had to wait for food to be cooked, he would starve. So now Wild normally ate in private. Long Chen saw some shrubbery ahead. He thought this would be a good place to start fishing. Oh, Long Chen had just pushed open the shrubbery when he saw a young maiden fishing in the pool. She turned to look at him. She looked to be 17 or 18 years old. Her hair flowed naturally down to her waist. She had long, shapely eyebrows, and beautiful phoenix eyes. She was extremely graceful and natural, looking just like a child of nobility. From her cultivation base fluctuations, she was also in the Xianchen realm. She looked at Long Chen strangely. Long Chen also found it strange that there was someone who would be secretly fishing here like him. Oh, little sister. Hello. What a coincidence. Fishing by yourself is so boring. So how about this big brother accompanies you, said Long Chen. Little sister, that maiden looked at him oddly. She asked, this place is forbidden to disciples. Are you not afraid of being imprisoned if you're noticed? If you're not afraid, why would I be afraid? Long Chen shook his head. Wasn't it just fishing? It wasn't a big deal. Furthermore, they were about to move out to the immemorial path. Who would really be such a pain as to imprison him? That maiden smiled. I'm not afraid because I'm related to the sect master. But you, you're related to the sect master. Long Chen was startled. No wonder her temperament was so graceful and natural. Was she the sect master's descendant? How coincidental. I'm the same. I happen to be the sect master's niece's nephew's descendant. Although we're not that close, it counts. Long Chen spouted a bunch of nonsense. He took out a fishing rod and began to tie on the hook. Oh? How come I didn't know the sect master had such a relative? The maiden smiled a smile that also didn't seem like a smile. TCH, aren't you just a child still? How could the sect master tell you about such things? Getting back on topic, do you know how deep this pool is? Long Chen hastily changed the topic. Around 6,000 meters, replied the maiden. She didn't continue questioning his status as a relative. That deep, Long Chen was stunned. He looked at his little string. It was less than a thousand meters long. That was not even close to enough. As the silvery fish lived at the bottom of the pool. Here, you can use mine. I have plenty of fishing lines here. That maiden gestured toward her coil of string. Long Chen received it and was stunned. Seven star gold silk. This was material that could be used to create soul items. If it was made into a soft armor, its value would be comparable to treasure items. But this maiden was actually using it as fishing lines. She really was rich. Many thanks. Long Chen received the string. After fastening a hook on it, he took out his bait. A burst of fragrance filled the air. What kind of bait is this? Asked the maiden. It's a special bait I made especially for hooking the silvery fish. I hear that it's blind and relies on the feelers on its back to sense things. And it also uses its nose to differentiate food. This is something I made from the oil of 7th tier magical beasts. 
it will definitely be able to draw it over, said Long Chen confidently. He gave her some bait as well. It would be rude for me not to reciprocate. You can try my bait. She received it but didn't immediately switch out her bait. That was because pulling out her line was an extremely troublesome thing. Long Chen slowly released his line. But in such a deep pool, it required a long time to reach the bottom. He asked, how long have you been fishing here? How many have you caught? How's the taste? I come here to fish every now and then. But I don't do it to eat fish. But to calm down my heart. As for the taste, I have eaten it seven or eight times. The taste is even better than you think. Once you catch one, you'll know. She smiled. I've reached the bottom. Long Chen felt his line lighten. He adjusted the height slightly, leaving it three meters above the ground. You're Long Chen. The maiden suddenly took the initiative to speak. Yes. And you? Me? Oh Young Kiyu She replied after a moment's hesitation. Ah, that's right. Why weren't you at the trials? Said Long Chen suddenly. I'm not strong enough. Even if I'm the sect master's relative, I can't get preferential treatment. She said helplessly. That's fine. Don't worry, your big bro will look after you in the future. If anyone bullies you, just say my name. I'll immediately come and smack their heads around. Long Chen patted his chest. Ha ha ha, that's good. Keep your promise. She laughed. Don't worry, with me present, even the four heavenly geniuses wouldn't dare to bully you. Don't think that just because you're related to the sect master that everything will be easy. After all, someone with status always has to carefully consider all their actions, even if it's for you. The sect master will still have to consider how to keep it fair. But me? If anyone dares to bully you, I'll immediately slap them in the face. Long Chen even made a slapping gesture with his hand, causing Oh Young Kiyu to smile. Ah, it took the bait. And so fast. Long Chen suddenly felt his line go heavy. He almost ended up being pulled into the water when he was caught off guard. Oh Young Kiyu hastily pulled him back. Shocked. It seems it has to be a big fish this time. Long Chen stabilized himself. He was incredibly excited. Don't send your divine sense into the pool. There are special stones that will immediately exhaust your spiritual strength. Warned Oh Young Kiyu upon seeing his actions. Long Chen hastily retracted his divine sense. Now he couldn't see how large the fish was, or whether he was pulling up a silvery fish or something else. The only thing was that Long Chen found that whatever it was, it was extremely strong. How big were the silvery fish you caught before? The small ones were half a foot while the large ones were three feet. The only reason the pool is so strong is because of how deep they are, said Oh Young Kiyu. No matter how big it is, it couldn't possibly be this strong. This power is on the level of a sixth rank magical beast. Long Chen was speechless. This powerful pulling force was too strong. If it was anyone else, they would probably be injured by how strong it was. How about you let me try it? Asked Oh Young Kiyu. It's not a matter of who. Now isn't the time to use brute force. Whatever this thing is, it's constantly trying to dig its way into the ground below. If you use brute force, the string will break. We can only fight a battle of endurance with it. Hopefully the silk can hold on long enough. Long Chen slowly released the line. When he released the line, the pull on the line lessened. He then slowly began to pull it back. This fishing rod was something Guo Ran had made from the fragments of a treasure item. Long Chen had absolute confidence in it. The only thing he was worried about was the silk. After all, he only had one strand, and he was worried it might break if it was pulled against a rock or some such. After two hours, he felt that whatever he had hooked, its power had weakened. He gradually pulled the line in more and more. Seeing an enormous figure surface in the water, both Long Chen and Oh Young Kiyu jumped in shock. It was a huge fish ten meters long. A golden light shone from it, and its eyes were not silver, but gold. In fact, the whole fish looked like it was made of gold. Is this really a silvery fish? Asked Long Chen Novaloon.com. Yes, it is. But it's a fish king. Heavens, in all my years, I've never eaten a fish king. Said Oh Young Kiyu. Long Chen knocked the fish unconscious with his hand, pulling it ashore. Both of them were incomparably excited. Little sister Kiyu, let's go. I'll treat you to some roasted fish. Laughed Long Chen as he patted the fish. Oh Young Kiyu laughed. Her smile was a bit odd, but Long Chen never noticed. I'll secretly bring this fish away for now, and then we can find a secret place to eat it, said Long Chen. There's no need for all that. There's a nice lawn not far from here with beautiful scenery, and with me present, other than the sect master, no one would dare to make things hard on us. Oh Young Kiyu waved her hand. That's also good. Then we'll cook it right here. 
Here, I'll leave the fish with you for now. Prepare some good firewood. With this kind of fish, we'll need some peak grade firewood to match its taste. After handing the fish king to Ouyang Kiyuayu, Long Chen went back to get Menki and Tang Wan'er. Once she saw Ouyang Kiyuayu, Tang Wan'er cried, Long Chen, I really admire you. While catching fish, you also caught a little sister. You really know how to multitask. Wan'er, Menki glared at her. Haha, <laughs> it's fine. We're all members of the Zhuanchen Dao sect, so there's no need to be restrained in front of each other. I'm actually pretty happy to hear such a joke. Oh young Kiyuayu smiled. Wow, what a nice smell. At this time, the fish had already been cooked by Long Chen. The fragrance that came from it could make a person go crazy. The four of them began to devour it without leaving any time to speak. This large fish was quickly consumed. In the midst of their feast, space suddenly twisted and the Visect Master appeared. Long Chen and the others were startled, their hearts immediately sinking. This time they had been caught in the act, but the Visect Master merely looked at Ouyang Kiyuayu. His jaw dropped as low as possible. Sect Master, Chapter 768 Preparing to Move Out Translator Born to be the Visect Master looked at the fish-eating Ouyang Kiyuayu in absolute shock. Sect Master, Long Chen, Men Qi, and Tang Wan'er were all dumbfounded. This little girl who had talked and occasionally thrown around jokes with them was actually the Zhuanchen Dao sect's strongest expert. Long Chen began to sweat, thinking of how he had called her little sister and said he would protect her. He had dared to treat the sect master to a meal? He had dared to say he would protect the sect master? This story was a bit terrifying. You came at just the right time. Long Chen caught a silvery fish king, and its taste is definitely unforgettable. You should eat some too. Oh young Kiyuayu gestured to the fish on the cooking rack, meaning he shouldn't stand on courtesy and should eat with them. Cough. I'll pass. I came here to ask you whether or not we should test the flying boat before we move out, said the Visect Master. Yes, that's a good idea. It's been many years since we've used it. You can do it yourself, said Oh young Kiyuayu. But, without your spiritual seal, it's impossible to start the flying boat. Oh, I forgot. Oh young Kiyuayu took out a tablet. Imprinting her spiritual seal into it, she tossed it to the Visect Master. Your subordinate will leave now. The Visect Master immediately turned to leave. Wait a moment. Really, the older you get, the thinner your face becomes. Managing the sect doesn't require you to be so serious all the time. Oh young Kiyuayu used her hand to cut off a chunk of fish meat and sent it to the Visect Master. He was clearly a bit uncomfortable, but he still took it. In truth. There were few people who could resist the lure of the silvery fish, and the Visect Master was no exception. It was just that he couldn't lower his face to eat together with a bunch of juniors like this. Many thanks, Sect Master. The Visect Master received the meat and quickly left. All right, I've also pretty much eaten my fill. This is definitely the best meat I've eaten. Not only was the meat good, but your roasting skills can also be rated as unmatched. Oh young Kiyuayu smiled at Long Chen. Ah. Sect Master overpraises me, said Long Chen awkwardly. Oh, you're not calling me little sister anymore? It's been many years since someone called me by such an intimate appellation, laughed Oh Young Kiyuayu. Long Chen felt his cheeks burning, being tricked by a beautiful girl. He felt extremely duped. Haha, <laughs> I won't tease you anymore. I'll leave for now. Remember your promise. If someone bullies me, you have to help me. After saying that, Oh Young Kiyuayu directly left. Long Chen. Men Qi, and Tang Wan'er just foolishly watched as she left. She was actually the sect master. Even we were tricked, said Tang Wan'er, not knowing what to do or say. This is the day where I lost the most face in my life, sighed Long Chen. Don't be so sad. If the sect master wants to change her appearance, none of us could tell. Furthermore, the sect master really is beautiful and nice. With your methods, you might have a shot, laughed Tang Wan'er. Long Chen glared at her. Do you see my expression? Try and understand what it means yourself. Menki couldn't bear to continue watching them. Don't fight. Although this thing is good, I can't eat anymore. Leave the rest for the others to eat. Only then did the three of them return to their camp. The leftovers were left to Menki to distribute. She was a typical model of a perfect wife, and she handled things in a rigorous manner. There was absolutely no need for Long Chen to worry about anything. They had only just returned when someone came to see Long Chen. That person was Zhen Wenlong. Brother Wenlong, it's been a long time. From your current suave manner, it seems your business has been doing pretty good lately, laughed Long Chen. I suppose. So tell me brother Long, what do you need this time? 
But let me warn you, I've already far surpassed my current credit limit, and I can't give you any more money. Zhen Wenlong got straight to the point. It seemed he was now afraid of being conned by Long Chen again. Don't worry, this time, I don't want anything from you. Instead, I've been pretty well off lately, so I'm actually helping you. Just recently, Long Chen had obtained a large sum of spirit stones from the Shu family, so Guo Ran was no longer lacking money. Furthermore, Long Chen had obtained countless precious medicinal ingredients from the pill tower. He directly took out hundreds of thousands of precious medicinal sprouts. Zhen Wenlong jumped in shock. This was an absolutely incredible amount. I temporarily don't need any help, and these medicinal sprouts should be able to help you out a bit, laughed Long Chen. This really is a supreme style of conducting business. If we spread these medicinal sprouts throughout the various auction houses, the profit will be absolutely shocking, said Zhen Wenlong excitedly. Then that's good. I'll have to trouble you to handle that, said Long Chen. He really was a bit sorry towards Zhen Wenlong because he had caused quite a bit of trouble for him. Just looking at the exhaustion deep within his eyes, he could tell how much pressure he was under because of him. The reason he took out these many precious medicinal ingredients was to repay him. He definitely wouldn't treat anyone by his side unfairly. Previously, he had been poor. But now that he had money, he definitely wouldn't forget to give him his share. Zhen Wenlong was incredibly excited. He told Long Chen that the profit for these precious medicinal sprouts would be so great that even he didn't dare to imagine it. This should be enough to repay his debt, and he would still have a great deal of money left over. Zhen Wenlong asked Long Chen what he wanted to do with it. He could directly give the leftover money to Long Chen, or he could leave the money in the Huai insect and get interest on it. With this much money, a year's worth of interest would definitely be a shocking amount. Long Chen simply waved his hand, saying that Zhen Wenlong could handle it himself. He also told Zhen Wenlong that he should increase his own position within the Huai insect as Long Chen's cultivation base increased. The things he would need in the future would become more expensive. If Zhen Wenlong's status in the Huai insect wasn't high enough, he wouldn't be able to help him in the future. Previously, Zhen Wenlong had offered a great deal of help to Long Chen. And now, Long Chen was putting a huge investment in on Zhen Wenlong so that he could improve his business allowing him to rapidly advance in the Huai insect other than medicinal ingredients. Long Chen also gave him the spatial rings he had obtained from the corrupt path that were useless to him. Some of those had come from celestials. The Huai insect relied on business, and business was about profit. Just like the pill tower, they were neutral from the struggles between the righteous and corrupt paths. They would do business with both sides. So the Huai insect would definitely be able to find a use for the treasures inside those spatial rings. That would also bring in a great deal of profit. Zhen Wenlong immediately got to work, making a list of inventory for Long Chen. But as a result, Long Chen directly kicked him out. How could he care about such details and nonsense? He just had Zhen Wenlong handle it himself. Zhen Wenlong was extremely moved. Although Long Chen had brought him a great deal of pressure, everything had been worth it. The trust Long Chen had in him made him feel like his initial investment had truly been in the right one. After sending off Zhen Wenlong, Long Chen returned to the Dragonblood Legion's camp. He saw that everyone was busy eating. However, they were all smart. They knew that there wasn't much meat to go around, and so with each small mouthful of the meat, they would drink a large jug of wine. Currently, they were already a bit tipsy. Long Chen called out Gu Yang and Guo Ran. He directly gave the treasure spear to Gu Yang. He didn't know how much he had drunk, but Gu Yang actually cried. A treasure item was something any cultivator would long for even in their dreams. Gu Yang had never expected that he would obtain one so early. Guo Ran, how are your preparations? Asked Long Chen. Out of everyone, the person he felt the least reassured about was Guo Ran. Don't worry boss, I've already finished forging my golden armor. I've also perfectly added in all kinds of mechanisms. Other than you, no one in the Dragonblood Legion can possibly suppress me. Said Guo Ran confidently. Not bad. Not bad. You finally know what it means to be low-key. You're not like before where you decide not to hide anything and think you're a supreme expert. Long Chen nodded with praise. He, this is all thanks to boss. When you fought against the four heavenly geniuses, your words deeply touched me. Guo Ran laughed mischievously. What words? Did I say something? Long Chen was startled. He didn't recall saying anything so profound. Guo Ran put on a serious expression and raised his chin slightly, imitating Long Chen. He said, I've gotten tired of your never-ending, on Chang'ing poser act. Long Chen and Gu Yang laughed. 
Guo Ran's imitation really was accurate. Even Long Chen's tone had been imitated perfectly. Most importantly, he even possessed Long Chen's specific arrogance. You couldn't have been practicing such useless things all day, right? Long Chen was speechless. Boss, you're wrong. In all my life, the only thing I hope for is to be able to show off behind you forever. Guo Ran patted his chest without the slightest shame. Long Chen was now truly speechless, but he could understand it. Guo Ran had never experienced the pain that Long Chen had, and so he was a typical hedonistic son of a small family. Perhaps the only value his life would have would be to show off. Three days later, all the celestial level experts were gathered. Long Chen once more saw the four heavenly geniuses. However, Xiao Wuji, Zhang Wuyan, and Yu Kianchen clearly held a trace of reverence in their eyes when they looked at Long Chen. As for Xu Guanzhi, his expression was completely icy, and there was unconcealable killing intent in his eyes. Brother Long, as long as you say the word, I'll kill him with a single smash of my club. Wild was the first one to get irritated. Next time, this is not the time. Long Chen shook his head. Although Xu Guanzhi had become a rank 3 celestial, Long Chen still didn't need to treat him seriously. In his eyes, he was just a rank 3 heavenly Dao fruit. The others looked at Wild with shock. That berserk energy coming from Wild made them tremble. It was like Wild was a monster that might start killing people at any moment. Even Xu Guanzhi shivered. He had heard of Wild, but seeing him in person, his expert's intuition told him that Wild posed a fatal danger to him. That feeling was even stronger than the one he got from Long Chen. HMPH, Long Chen, don't let me find you in the immemorial path, or I'll properly settle the debts between us. Although he was a bit afraid of Wild, he still opened his mouth. Idiot, do you see my boss paying the slightest bit of attention to you? If this was the right place, you'd already be dead. I really question whether or not your brains were left in the placenta when you were born. Cursed Guo Ran. Boom. Suddenly, a powerful spatial fluctuation erupted, cutting off their verbal sparring. A huge flying boat appeared above them. Chapter 769 Arriving Translator. Born to be everyone hastily shut their mouths. The flying boat slowly descended. It was over 300 meters long, and its entire body was golden. It appeared grand and luxurious and countless formation runes shone brilliantly over its surface. A red-robed, beautiful and graceful woman descended from the boat. Greetings, sect master, including the vice sect master. Everyone hastily bowed. Long Chen also awkwardly followed Novaloon.com CMO Young Kiyu nodded slightly. All disciples can get on the boat now. The time is almost upon us. Long Chen and the others went in according to the vice sect master's signal. Only once they got up did they realize just how luxurious this boat really was. It's actually a treasure item. Guo Ran immediately recognized its level. The top of the flying boat was very spacious, and there were many lavish decorations, some with tea and refreshments on them. It was extremely comfortable. Furthermore, there was even a translucent barrier around the flying boat. Even when flying, they wouldn't feel the slightest breeze. It was both cozy and safe. The disciples found places for themselves to sit. They were all filled with reverence toward the fairy-like woman standing at the front of the boat. In fact, they almost didn't even dare to raise their heads to look at her. This was the Zhuanshan Dao sect's number one person. She was someone infinitely close to becoming a king, one of the apex figures in the entire eastern wastelands. Once everyone was up, Oh Young Kiyu activated the boat. It began to slowly soar into the air. Then, the boat trembled and shot forward looking like a ray of light shooting through the air. The Zhuanshan Dao sect rapidly shrank in their view until it disappeared in just a few breaths. They were all startled by this speed. Furthermore, it was only getting faster. There's no need to worry. It'll take a few days for us to get to the gathering point. If you all start clamming up now, time will feel like it's passing even slower. Oh young Kiyu smiled at everyone amicably, but no one dared to speak still, because they were all filled with reverence for her. No matter how brazen they were, they wouldn't dare to be unbridled in front of the sect master. Even Xu Guanzhi, Xiao Wuji, and the others were all extremely reserved now. In front of an apex figure of the eastern wastelands, they felt an immense amount of pressure. As for Long Chen, he was nonchalant. He had already done something so embarrassing, so doing anything more wouldn't really matter. Sect master, why do we need to use a flying boat instead of just using transportation formations? Asked Long Chen. Because the place we're going to has three spatial storm zones between us. Space is very unstable there, and it's impossible to create a transportation formation that can pass through them. We can only fly. 
said Oh Yang Kiyu. She didn't stand on courtesy. Just like that, she sat beside Long Chen, acting as natural as when she had eaten the fish with him. However, Long Chen was clearly a bit unnatural. He fidgeted a bit and maintained a polite distance. The main thing was that the pressure was too great. Sis Kof, Sect Master, what do you mean by storm zones? Asked Tang Wanur awkwardly. She had gotten too used to calling her sister. Junior Sister Wanur, Junior Sister Men Ki, you can call me the same thing as you used to. I rather like that kind of appellation. Laughed Ouyang Kiyu. Everyone was startled. It was completely unexpected for Men Ki and Tang Wanur to actually know the Sect Master. Furthermore, they seemed very familiar with her. The sect master had always been an extremely mysterious figure. Even their monastery heads hadn't ever seen her. An immense, heaven-shaking battle was once fought in our world. That battle changed the very structure of the world. And the martial heaven continent was split into five pieces. Those are the eastern wasteland, the western desert, the southern sea, the northern source, and the central plains, said Ouyang Kiyu. Everyone was shocked. So the five regions weren't natural, but the result of an immense battle. Then just what kind of shocking level had that battle reached? That battle happened so long ago that it's almost impossible to trace back. The legends say it was a battle of gods. But as for how trustworthy legends are, it's up to each person's personal judgment. However, that battle was truly terrifying. It happened so long ago that no one can remember it. But there were many places where space was destroyed. Although the world tries to recover, those old wounds left behind scars. As a result. There are many places in this world where space is too unstable to establish transportation formations, explained Ouyang Kiyu. Sect master, disciple doesn't understand something, said Song Wuyan suddenly. Go ahead. Ouyang Kiyu smiled with encouragement, seeing that Ouyang Kiyu was so easy to talk to. Song Wuyan's nervousness lessened a great deal. I want to know, just what kind of world do we live in? What kind of existence is the immemorial path? Everyone else's ears perked up. This was also something that they all wanted to know as well. In regards to the structure of the world, even I am not sure about many things. This world is three-dimensional, but it is also a flat plane. Perhaps saying it like this is difficult for you to understand. So I'll put it another way. A transportation formation functions by folding space, making it so two spots connect, turning the distance between them to zero. But this is on the condition that space is stable, as well as finding the correct spatial node. If you want to know more about that, you would have to go find a formation master, and they would be able to give you a more detailed answer. Even my knowledge about it is limited. So, that is the explanation about how it is planar. But the world is also three-dimensional. Our world is surrounded by endless planar spaces as well. Perhaps that is too confusing. If I were to make an analogy, our world would be like a bubble. And there are also countless bubbles surrounding us. We're all tightly bunched together. It is also similar to a honeycomb, but we are surrounded by more than just six worlds. So don't think this is the only world out there. Furthermore, there are worlds beyond those outside worlds beside us. However, we are isolated by loss from those worlds, so we can't see them. The reason I am telling you all this is because the immemorial path is different from those secret realms you know of. Secret realms are simply the remains of destroyed worlds that exist within the cracks of space. But the immemorial path is its own world. One on the same level as ours. Rumor has it that the immemorial path is a trial left behind from the immortal era. The secrets of becoming an immortal or god are within it. However, that world was wrecked. The damage done to it was even greater than what was done to our world. And it almost completely collapsed. The laws within the immemorial path are incomplete. Once you enter, you may find that your power is sometimes restricted. But fortunately, the laws there are favorable to celestials and you'll still be able to summon your cries of the heavenly deos. Everyone turned to look at Long Chen. Shu Guanzi and the others had an expression of delight. Ridicule surfaced in Long Chen's heart. These were his companions? Seeing others at an advantage, they were jealous. Seeing others at a disadvantage, they laughed. Suddenly, the flying boat began to rock. Countless runes lit up to form layers of light. The sky turned dark, startling everyone. Oh Yang Kiyu said, don't be afraid. This is the first storm zone. Space here is incomplete, and we can only barge our way through. We'll be through momentarily. Although Ouyang Kiyu comforted them, people were still a bit afraid. They were suddenly unable to see anything outside the boat. It was like they had been devoured by darkness. Furthermore, the flying boat was rocking intensely, and the barriers of light were also shaking. 
It seemed as if they might break at any moment. However, the darkness didn't last for long before they once more saw the light. Suddenly, people heard a loud grumbling sound. They hastily turned toward the source to see Wilde snoring in his chair. They couldn't help being speechless. Just how confident did he have to be to sleep here? Sorry, Wilde's been extremely tired lately, so he needs to catch up on his sleep. Apologized Long Chen to Ouyang Kiyuayu. After all, it really was impolite for him to sleep right in front of the sect master. But Long Chen knew that this was Wilde's way of preserving his energy. Furthermore, Wilde had been alone and suffering for so long. His heart was weary. Having found everyone, his nerves instantly relaxed. He needed some time. Ouyang Kiyuayu merely smiled slightly and expressed that she was fine with it. When her gaze swept over Wilde, shock flickered in her eyes. But she didn't say anything. Retracting her gaze from Wilde, she told everyone, You're the geniuses of our Zhuanshan Dao sect you have your own personalities and opinions. Although I hope for you to be united, that's not really plausible. So I can't be bothered to waste the effort. I'll just warn you this once. Once you enter the immemorial path, no matter who you are, your chances of surviving will definitely not be greater than 50%. This has nothing to do with cultivation base. In fact, stronger experts generally have higher mortality rates. What? Why? Because the stronger you are, the more things you'll be able to see within the immemorial path. Things that others don't even have the qualifications to see. The principle is very simple. Those who drown are people who know how to swim. On the one hand, because they are strong. They get conceited and challenge more difficult things. On the other hand, stronger people are more likely to run into stronger existences. And stronger existences cannot be beaten with just luck. So the stronger you are, the more likely you'll fall, said Ouyang Kiyuayu. Everyone nodded. High risk was accompanied by high rewards. And if you misjudged your abilities, that risk might take your life. To sum up, no matter what opportunities you run into inside, don't think about how you're going to obtain it first but think about whether you'll have a life to enjoy it. Even if you obtain something, you might not have the power to keep it. That's all I have to tell you. Cultivators are all gamblers. If you win, you can soar and continue to the next bet. If you lose, everything will be over. There will be no chance to make a comeback. After saying that, Ouyang Kiyuayu no longer said anything. Everyone's hearts became a bit heavy. However, Long Chen didn't feel any pressure. Compared to luck, he was more confident in his strength. Three days passed, the flying boat finally began to slow down, and a barren land appeared before them. That land was covered with countless experts. Chapter 770 Irritating and Shameless Translator Born to be Long Chen looked down and couldn't help being startled. There was already a huge amount of experts here. From a quick glance, they definitely numbered in the thousands. Each one of them had powerful auras and a certain Dao charm that marked them as Celestials Novaloon.com Seeing this many Celestials at once was truly shocking. They were all gathered on the desert in many groups. Some groups had dozens of people, while some had hundreds. Those large groups were very imposing. When the flying boat descended, all of them looked over. Ouyang Kiyuayu led her people off the boat, and dozens of old experts immediately came to receive her. Greetings, Sect Master Ouyang Kiyuayu. Those elders all bowed extremely respectfully to Ouyang Kiyuayu. A large group of disciples behind them followed suit. These people were from smaller sects that didn't possess enough power. They needed to rely on the Zhuanshan Dao sect to get by. To put it more bluntly, they could be considered subordinates. Because they weren't strong enough to fight against the corrupt path on their own, they needed to form an alliance. And the Zhuanshan Dao sect was naturally the leader of that alliance. Everyone is too courteous. Seeing you all with such rising geniuses is truly gratifying. Ouyang Kiyuayu smiled as she looked at these disciples. She truly found it a bit unexpected that these smaller sects could raise this many celestials. They had over 400 celestials. So on average, each sect had raised over 10 celestials. Sect master overpraises us. This generation of disciples truly is the strongest batch we've had in all of history. Hopefully, they can temper themselves in the immemorial path and become true geniuses. It's just that the immemorial path is filled with dangers, and if those fiends from the corrupt path attack, we hope that the heroes of the Zhuanshan Dao sect can help, said one elder. He actually bowed slightly toward Long Chen and the others. Long Chen and the others hastily returned the bow, but Xu Guanxi and the others only lightly nodded. They didn't really take this elder seriously. This elder was only at the peak of sea expansion. His strength was even lower than theirs. Thus, they were indifferent to him. But Long Chen was different. 
No matter his cultivation base, he was the leader of a sect, and despite his age, he had not hesitated to ask for help from a group of junior disciples. That was something he could admire. In their entire group, only Long Chen's people returned the bar respectfully. Don't worry, if our junior apprentice brothers and apprentice sisters need help, we naturally won't just watch. Shu Guan's he nodded. His tone was extremely arrogant. He was clearly speaking as the number one person from the Zhuangshan Dao sect Guo Ran was a bit irritated, but a gaze from Long Chen held him back. Long Chen never cared about standing out, because the bird to stand out was the first one to be shot. If Shu Guan's he wanted to seek fame, he could. Long Chen was happy to leisurely wait for the opening of the immemorial path. At this time, those disciples from the smaller sects came over to introduce themselves. Their sect leaders had clearly told them about the Zhuangshan Dao sect's foundation and told them to properly form relationships. Perhaps one of them could save their lives on the immemorial path. Perhaps doing this was a blow to their egos. But the cultivation world's rules were just that simple. Experts were to be respected, and acting friendly toward experts wasn't an embarrassing thing. Those disciples might also be celestials, but their auras were clearly much weaker than the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. This was the difference. Not every sect had so many resources to raise their disciples. These disciples were filled with reverence. In order to suck up to the vanity of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples, they asked them a few cultivation questions. These disciples actually benefited a great deal just from the answers. Even Gu Yang and the others were surrounded by people asking for pointers. As for Guo Ran, there was no need to say any more. He had already begun to spout so much nonsense that the people listening felt like they were lost in the clouds. Senior apprentice brother Guo Ran truly is a dragon amongst men. This wisdom is truly amazing. It's just that, we can't really understand what you're saying. If you could explain it more in detail. We would be incomparably grateful, said one disciple humbly. Guo Ran had an extremely serious expression on his face, and in a very showy manner, he said, the supreme principles of heaven and earth can't be explained in just a few words. Only comprehension will allow you to grasp the Dao, and only the Dao can allow you to grasp Godhood. Everything is up to your own opportunities and comprehension abilities. You can't force it. A snicker almost escaped Long Chen's mouth. Guo Ran who was essentially a blacksmith, was actually lecturing them on the Dao. The thickness of his face was something even Long Chen had to admit Defit Churingan. As for Menki and Tang Wanur, they were surrounded by a group of women. But what made Long Chen almost cough up blood was that they were actually not talking about proper matters. Big sister, you're so beautiful, and your skin is so nice. What secret technique did you use? Big sister, your hair is so refined. Where did you buy it from? It really matches your temperament. Big sister, this dress of yours is so decorative. How is it so beautiful? Are these beauty runes? Long Chen and Wild were in the back of the crowd. Long Chen found a place to set up a chair, while Wild sat on the ground. But considering his size, his head was still on the same level as Long Chen's. Brother Long, I'm a bit hungry, whispered Wild. What? Did you already finish the Azure Scale Horned Eagle? Asked Long Chen. It only lasted two meals, said Wild in an aggrieved manner. Long Chen was speechless. A seventh rank magical beast only lasted him two meals? That really was incredible. Even with Long Chen's wealth, it seemed he still might be eaten out of house and home. Brother, endure it. I don't have anything for you to eat here. But once you're in the immemorial path, there'll definitely be plenty of food for you. How about you go to sleep for now? Okay. Wild closed his eyes. In just a few breaths, snoring sounds came from him. Wild's body was just too strange. Long Chen had never seen such a constitution. He didn't need to cultivate. All he needed to do was eat. And his consumption was also shocking. Whether he was standing or sitting, he would exhaust his energy and quickly grow hungry. Only sleeping allowed him to last longer. Long Chen had inspected Wild's body previously. Currently, almost 90% of his cells had awoken. But there was still a portion that was sleeping. Once he awoke all of them, Wild would definitely become a terrifying monster. But to activate the remaining 10% of cells would require who knew how many magical beasts to enter Wild's stomach. Excuse me, are you senior apprentice brother Long Chen? Long Chen was in the midst of pondering when a young maiden appeared in front of him. She appeared to be 17 or 18 years old, and she was clearly shy. He was startled, but then he saw Tang Wan Er looking over at him with a naughty smile. I am. Do you need something? Asked Long Chen. I hear you're the strongest member of the Zhuangshan Dao sect is that true? She asked excitedly. 
What kind of joke is that? The strongest person is currently speaking to your sect leaders. If she heard this, I'll be beaten. Long Chen nervously pointed to Ouyang Qiyu. That maiden laughed and said, I was talking about the junior generation. At this time, Men Qi and Tang Wanur, along with the women they were talking with, all looked over at Long Chen. Their actions drew quite a few people's attention, and the nearby disciples stopped talking to look. How could that be possible? I'm not even a celestial. The only reason I could sneak my way in is because I bribed the sect master with a fish. Long Chen shook his head. He couldn't admit such a thing. You're lying. I heard that during the Zhuanshan Dao sect's trial, you managed to win against the four heavenly geniuses all on your own. You're definitely the number one member of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's junior generation, she said worshipfully. Her words immediately caused Xu Guanzi and the others' expressions to sink. That was their greatest humiliation. Although no one in the Zhuanshan Dao sect dared to bring it up around them, they all knew that countless people were discussing it behind their backs. Now that she brought it up, their fury immediately ignited. Long Chen seemed to understand something. Originally, Xu Guanzi had acted like he was the number one member of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, and he hadn't retorted. But that didn't mean everyone had his kind of magnanimity. This maiden had clearly been used by Tang Wanur. She had sent her to bring up this topic publicly. Although Tang Wanur didn't like it when Long Chen flirted with other women, he was still the grandest hero in her heart. She wouldn't let others take that title away from him. As a result, this maiden's words were a slap in Xu Guanzi's face. Didn't he want to act like he was the Zhuanshan Dao sect's number one disciple? But even four against one, they had still been defeated. Thinking of that, Long Chen didn't know whether to cry or laugh. It really was impossible to understand a woman's thinking. He was just lucky that time. If we fought again, he definitely wouldn't be able to last even a hundred exchanges against me, sneered Xu Guanzi suddenly. His tone was extremely provocative. You dare to say that my boss wouldn't be able to last a hundred exchanges? Idiot. Do you know what you're saying? I immediately challenge you to a life and death battle. Do you dare? Said Guo Ran icily. Gu Yang and the others were all enraged. They didn't mind so much when they were insulted, but they wouldn't hold back once others insulted Long Chen. Hearing Guo Ran's challenge, everyone jumped in fright. Guo Ran had actually issued a life and death challenge against a rank 3 celestial? Guo Ran, don't mess around, said Long Chen indifferently. He knew Guo Ran was confident in his new armor. He had long since grown impatient to test it out and spread his name, but this wasn't the place. Although he hadn't seen Guo Ran's new armor, Long Chen knew it had to be extremely terrifying. If they fought, perhaps he would be able to suppress Guo Ran. But if it became a life and death battle, then even he wouldn't have any assurance of winning against that little fellow's wretched mechanisms. Oh, who would have thought that the Zhuanshan Dao sect side would be so lively? Maybe things would be more peaceful if a few were offered as a sacrifice to the heavens. Suddenly, a voice rang out that caused everyone's expressions to change slightly. Chapter 771 Song Mingyuan Fights Translator Born to be a white-haired crone covered in wrinkles slowly walked over. Her eyes seemed to shine so brightly that no one dared to look at them directly. She carried a simple walking cane. Behind her were dozens of other elders, and behind them was a mass of celestial disciples. It seemed that they numbered over twenty more than the Zhuanshan Dao sect side. People from the Remote Heaven Gang. The Remote Heaven Gang was an existence that had started out in the Eastern Wasteland. They had existed here for even longer than the Zhuanshan Dao sect's eastern branch. However, their true foundation was a far cry from the Zhuanshan Dao sect back when the Zhuanshan Dao sect had decided to establish a branch sect here. Conflicts had erupted between them and the Remote Heaven Gang. However, the result of those conflicts was that the Remote Heaven Gang's core was heavily injured, and they had almost been eradicated. But the Zhuanshan Dao sect had had no intention of having their branch sect dominate the eastern wasteland and so they hadn't exterminated them, as they had once been the sole ruler of the eastern wasteland. Once the Zhuanshan Dao sect had intruded, the remote heaven gang was naturally irritated. But after that battle, they understood just how powerful the sects from the central plains were. Thus, they could only swallow their anger. Later, the remote heaven gang's power gradually recovered. But the Zhuanshan Dao sect's branch had also established its roots by then, and they had grown to the overlord level as well. Both sides minded their own business. However, the remote heaven gang had always been holding back their rage. And so eventually, they began to cause some trouble for the Zhuanshan Dao sect. However, the branch sect no longer needed to bother with them. All their income came from the head sect in the central plains. 
so the remote heaven gang was unable to do anything to them. The branch sect couldn't be bothered to deal with the remote heaven gang's provocations. So in all these years, their relationship was never very harmonious. The old woman was the newly appointed leader of the remote heaven gang, Ji Hongling. She was also an ancestor expert, but she hadn't wasted her cultivation base or longevity on her looks. That made her combat power even higher. It was rumored that Ji Hongling was an extremely haughty and ruthless person. In less than three years of office, she had completely devoured all the smaller sects around the remote heaven gang, turning them into their subordinates. These smaller sects could only rely on them for their protection. But most arrogant of all, Ji Hongling had actually stretched her claws toward those powers that relied on the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The two great powers had definitely clashed privately several times. But those private clashes were things outsiders were unable to learn anything about. It seemed as if neither side had an advantage. Now that Ji Hongling had brought her people over, her provocation was very clear. The small sect leaders directly pulled their disciples far away. Now that the two enormous existences were clashing, they had to hide further away to avoid being implicated. Oh Young Kiyu also stopped talking with the sect leaders and indifferently looked at the old woman. It seems the remote heaven gang's development these past few years has been not bad. Your power has increased quite a bit. But it seems your temper has also grown. Ji Hongling leaned against her cane, and a cold smile appeared on her wizened face. It's all thanks to your blessing. Just now, I saw that this place was very lively. It almost seemed like a fight was about to break out. Well, there's still plenty of time. So why don't we send out a few of our disciples to exchange pointers? Everyone's hearts shook. This provocation was too clear. I am Jiu Kifeng, a rank 1 celestial. I wonder which disciple from the Zhuanshan Dao sect would like to exchange pointers with me? Of course, if you're afraid of death, then there's no need for you to come up. I tend to not know how to hold back, and it wouldn't be good if I accidentally killed you. One of the remote heaven gang's disciples walked up. His gaze swept across the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. Light roved around his body and the skin of his bare arms had strange lines on them. He was clearly an expert amongst experts, and an extremely dense murderous aura came from him. He was clearly someone who had slaughtered his way out of over a hundred battles. I'll kill him right now. Gu Yang snorted and was just about to go out. Being looked down upon irritated him. None of our people need to do anything. Have you not gotten enough of this kind of senseless game? Long Chen shook his head. If you charged forward as soon as someone provoked you, wouldn't you be an idiot? Did you have a mental disease? To fall for such a plain scheme. Long Chen was practically speechless. But, said Gu Yang. No buts. In the future, don't play this kind of stupid game. Use your head more. Is it worthwhile to fight with idiots? Said Long Chen. Bastard. Who did you call an idiot? Before anyone else could say anything, a thunderous roar came from the opposing disciples. Long Chen's words had essentially been cursing all of them. Of course. Ji Hongling was also included in his cursing. Boss, it looks like you made an error. Since they can understand that you're cursing them, they must be comparatively smarter idiots, said Guo Ran with amazement. Guo Ran, don't be rude, chided Tang Wan'er. Guo Ran was speechless. What was this? His boss had been rude, but she didn't say anything. But as soon as he cheered for his boss, she chided him. Oh young Kiyu, these are the disciples you raised? It seems they're all a bunch of cowards whose only ability is cultivating their filthy mouths. Don't you feel ashamed to call yourselves a supreme sect? Sneered Ji Hongling. Surprisingly, Oh Young Kiyu didn't get angry. She amicably smiled and said, Having filthy mouths is at least better than having filthy hearts. Suddenly, a clapping sound filled the air. Long Chen was the first to give his praise for her words. Since the sect master was supporting him, he naturally also had to support his sect master. Guo Ran suddenly shouted, Yes, exactly. Some people don't just have filthy hearts, they also have filthy faces. And there are such deep gorges on their faces that to wash their faces, they'd need a huge brush. You know, now I realize that the reason a woman cares so deeply about her beauty is because by maintaining her beauty, she can also maintain her beautiful heart. Only someone with a beautiful heart can be kind-hearted instead of being a crazy bitch. Look at our sect master, and then look at you. I really have to admire your courage. If I were you, I would have long since killed myself. Being so ugly isn't your wrong. Your wrong is coming out to disgust others. Beautiful. Long Chen hadn't expected that Guo Ran could say such touching words. He gave him a huge thumbs up. He, boss, you overpraise me. It's all thanks to your training. 
while immersed in the sunlight of your words. My tongue is rapidly growing in skill, said Guo Ran humbly. Are you trying to die? roared Ji Hongling. Although she knew that she should ignore them with her status, she couldn't hold back. You're the one trying to die. If someone as ancient as you hasn't died, why would we? Cursed Long Chen and Guo Ran. They looked at each other in shock. Each of their words were exactly the same, and even the rhythm and tone had been identical. Even Ouyang Kiyuayu couldn't help but laugh inside. These two really were a perfect pair of clowns. In all her years of cultivation, she hadn't encountered even one person like them. Ji Hongling, a grand ancestor expert, was now quivering with rage. Rancor filled her eyes, and if looks could kill, Long Chen and Guo Ran would be dead. HMPH, from top to bottom, the Zhuangshan Dao sect is filled with brats who only know how to talk. It seems they can only lick the feet of the higher ups, said Jiu Kifeng. His words immediately provoked the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. This was not only humiliating them, but also their sect master. One disciple was just about to charge forward when another person pulled him back. Let me. That person was Song Mingguan. He knew that the disciple he held back had no chance of defeating this fellow. Going out to fight would just be a humiliation for them all. Boss, can I? Asked Song Mingguan. It's still the old rules, said Long Chen. Understood. Song Mingguan nodded. Their words baffled others, but the fact that Song Mingguan would fight relieved all the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. Amongst rank 1 celestials, no one could defeat Ring Dragon Blood Warriors. They had a murderous aura around them that made others tremble before them. Others didn't know what Long Chen meant by the old rules, but the Dragon Blood Legion's members did. They held back their smiles. Those rules were that they couldn't accept any senseless challenges. If they were to fight, they had to kill their opponent as fast as possible. If there were too many people present though, they had to do their best not to reveal their true strength. Seeing Song Mingguan, J.I.U. Kifeng's heart trembled. He was also an expert who had fought against the corrupt path many times, that had tempered his powerful spiritual perception. As soon as Song Mingguan came out, he felt a terrifying killing intent lock onto him. It was like he was being stared at by a monster. I'll give you one chance to kneel and apologize to the sect master. Otherwise, you'll definitely die today, said Song Mingguan coldly. His words were arrogant but serious. His words contained his unquestionable confidence. Long Chen smiled and nodded. In truth, while Song Mingguan and Li Qi's combat abilities weren't as high as Gu Yang and Yu Zifeng, they had also found their own confidence, a belief in being undefeatable. Once that kind of confidence was cultivated, their combat powers would be even greater than they ever expected. Long Chen didn't care so much about their talent. What he had been doing his best to raise was that undefeatable confidence, with a solid belief in themselves then talent wasn't so important. They could always use special resources to change a person's talent, but this kind of confidence was not so easy to build. Arrogant brat. Die. J.I.U. Kiffin was infuriated. A strange terror welled up from his heart along with the sensation of death, but he roared and immediately activated his heavenly Dao manifestation. Runes filled the air as he charged at Song Mingguan. A cold light flew and scarlet blood splashed. Those runes disappeared as a saber slashed his body in two. Chapter 772 Sword Offering Translator Born to be what? Everyone was appalled. Other than a very few numbers of experts, no one else had seen what had happened before J.I.U. Kiffin was cut in two. Long Chen smiled with satisfaction. A battle should just be like this, using the smallest price to get the greatest result. Oh Young Kiyuayu's expression was calm, but inside, she was stunned. Song Mingguan's attack just now had actually been one of exchanging his life to take a life. When his opponent's weapon had been about to reach him, he hadn't even looked at it. Instead, he had directly slashed his saber at his opponent's waist. That was clearly a suicide attempt. Furthermore, unlike most people who used such a move, he was not bluffing. This kind of exchange was a competition between who had more guts and who was more afraid of death. In this kind of competition, anyone afraid of death would be forced to change into defense. They would be forced into a passive position. But that was not Song Mingguan's intention. He was clearly going for an exchange of lives. By the point he had struck, it had been too late for J.I.U. Kifeng to change his attack into defense. In the end, Song Mingguan's saber had cut through J.I.U. Kifeng's body, while J.I.U. Kifeng's weapon had only broken Song Mingguan's shoulder. Although that attack had reached the bone, it hadn't even severed his arm. Of the people present, only the Dragonblood Legion's people understood why that was so. 
it was because Jiu Kifeng had been completely suppressed by how imposing Song Mingyuan had been. When Song Mingyuan had displayed his unquestionable resolve to die with him, Jiu Kifeng's courage had been completely broken. In that instant, he had wanted to switch to defense, but he hadn't had enough time to do that. As for dying with Song Mingyuan, he also didn't have the courage. As a result, his head had become completely empty. That had resulted in his attack weakening in this conclusion. Jiu Kifeng might have plenty of combat experience, but he had never seen someone so ruthless as to immediately fight with his life on the line as soon as they clashed. Jiu Kifeng's body had only just been sliced apart when Song Mingyuan's saber slashed through his head. Blood splashed. An acrid smell spread. A powerful celestial had died just like this, without an opportunity to even use the heavenly Dao recovery. Looking at the indifferent Song Mingyuan, quite a few people were filled with reverence. Boss taught us that as people, we need to understand what respect and gratitude are. You don't have any respect for experts or life. So it was fated for you to lose today. Song Mingyuan merely tossed out a few sentences before returning to his side. It was deathly silent. No one had yet to recover from their shock. It felt like the battle had yet to start before it had ended. Most people hadn't even understood what was happening. They looked at the completely calm Song Mingyuan behind Long Chen in shock. The celestials from the Zhuangshan Dao sect subordinates finally understood why their sect leaders would have them put aside their pride to humbly ask for advice from the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. Song Mingyuan had appeared so ordinary before, but as soon as he took action, he shocked everyone. All right, we've already killed someone and spilled blood. We can continue with the ceremony. What's the next step for our sacrifice to the heavens? I know, you, the old witch. Can you start chanting? Guo Ran's voice broke the silence. The people on his side didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Did he really have to infuriate a supreme expert like Ji Hongling? Ji Hongling's face was extremely dark. She hated Jiu Kiffin for being such an idiot. He was both stupid and a coward. He was clearly a celestial. Even if both sides had to be injured, he could still use his heavenly Dao runes to heal. It wasn't like he would die. So why did he have to hesitate? It was that slight hesitation that had caused his death. He hadn't just lost his life. He had lost all her face. Originally, the remote heaven gang had entered a golden age with many geniuses. Ji Hongling was already irritated with having to stand on the same level as the Zhuangshan Dao sect's branch sect she wanted to suppress them to show everyone that it was the remote heaven gang that was the eastern wasteland's strongest power. Although they had to be worried about the main sect in the central plains, after all these years, they had found that the head sect essentially ignored the branch sect all problems were to be resolved by the branch sect by themselves. And so Ji Hongling had planned to use the opening of the immemorial path to suppress the Zhuangshan Dao sect in front of the Eastern Wasteland's top powers. Then she would begin to pull those powers to her side, strengthening the remote heaven gang. HMPH. Jiu Kifeng received an internal injury when fighting the corrupt path previously, which is why you managed to win. You suicidal brats. It seems it'll be up to me, Wang Yiping, to teach you what respect is. Suddenly, a thin and tall man walked out. He pointed at them as he spoke, which was extremely rude. It was a naked provocation. Long Chen really was speechless. Had the righteous path's disciples spent all their cultivation time on provoking others? Their provocation abilities really were excellent. Just a few words could infuriate someone. Even Long Chen felt some fury. But did provocations have any use against the corrupt path? Could you really hurl enough abuse to injure your opponents? If cursing was effective. Wouldn't the corrupt path have long since been cursed to death by the righteous path? This skinny man was a rank 2 celestial. As soon as he came up, he released his cry of the heavenly deos. Two different kinds of runes interwove in the air. A loud rumbling like the waves of the sea came from his runes. Boss, probe Guo Ran. The scale's too small. It's not suitable for you to show off. Responded Long Chen. Looking at Guo Ran's stifled expression, it was obvious how hard he was holding himself back. Long Chen really understood him too well, but he didn't want Guo Ran to reveal his trump card so early. The main thing was that there was no point right now. Was he really planning on showing them just to show off? Well, if he continued like that, he could definitely continue living until he was dead. Let me handle him. What Long Chen hadn't expected was for Song Wuyan to be the first one to stand out. As soon as she went forward, she summoned her ancestral spirit support. Long Chen was surprised to see Wang Yiping release light from his body that made his body indistinct. It was like he was merged into space, and Song Wuyan's attacks were weakened a great deal. 
Furthermore, even the ancestral spirit's attacks were weakened. Zhang Wuyan has been suppressed. Tang Wan'er was surprised. She had never seen such magical art. It should be a spatial magical art. He's using spatial strength to weaken her attacks. It also possesses a restrictive effect that makes Zhang Wuyan suffer. Her speed and power are clearly lower. If this continues, she won't be able to gain any advantage at all, said Long Chen. Then isn't this kind of magical art unrevealed? Asked Tang Wan'er. Spatial strength was something only foundation forging experts and above could control. Foolish girl. There's no such thing as an unrevealed magical art in this world. Just because Song Wuyan is suppressed doesn't mean others would be. If it was you, then in less than an incense stick's worth of time, you would be able to cut him into pieces. As for why he can control spatial strength, it seems his heavenly Dao runes were innately special. But compared to an ancestor, this amount of spatial strength isn't worth anything at all, said Long Chen. His voice wasn't loud, but the surrounding people heard it clearly. Oh Yang Qiyu nodded inside. As expected, Long Chen was extremely experienced and could immediately see through his opponent's weak points. As for the disciples, they had an urge to prostrate themselves in admiration. Theory is useless, sneered Xu Guanzi. Is something wrong with your head? Or is something wrong with your mouth? No wonder my boss slapped you so many times. It seems you still need some more. Cursed Gu Yang. Gu Yang's cursing caused the surrounding people to be stunned. Could it be that Long Chen had slapped Xu Guanzi in the face before? Although they had heard that Long Chen had defeated the four heavenly geniuses, that was just a rumor. None of them knew whether it was true or not. But now, they were all shocked. They looked at Long Chen and Xu Guanzi, wanting to see the answer from them. You must want to die. Xu Guanzi pointed at Gu Yang. Gu Yang had touched his most painful scar. Long Chen shook his head. There really was no saving this idiot. Wasn't he just slapping himself in the face? As expected, as soon as Xu Guanzi said this, everyone realized the truth. They looked at Long Chen with reverence. Gu Yang, are you a child? Go sit and just watch. Long Chen waved his hand. Long Chen could see that once Xu Guanzi had refined the heavenly water pearl and become a rank 3 celestial, his confidence had also greatly risen. Now he was like a wild dog. It was best to stay further away from such a dog. Of course, the other option was to kill it. But you definitely couldn't try talking to it. Boom. Suddenly, the land trembled. It was unknown what magical art Wang Yiping had used. But he had completely locked Song Wuyan in place. And a palm viciously slammed into her chest. That huge power directly caused her chest to cave in. She wildly vomited blood as she flew back. A few of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples went over to catch her. But she then once more coughed up blood and fainted. That palm had clearly not been as simple as it had appeared. Damn. Is she really a woman? Her chest was even flatter than mine. Cursed Wang Yiping. Suddenly, he turned to look at Menki and Tang Wan'er. He lecherously smiled. But you two are not bad. Menki and Tang Wan'er's expressions immediately changed. Tang Wan'er was just about to charge forward when she was held back by Long Chen. Long Chen narrowed his eyes slightly and then turned to Yu Zifeng. I'll leave him to you. Use him as an offering to your sword. Chapter 773 Demon Azura Kiyu Translator born to be all right. Yu Zifen was a bit surprised, but then he walked out with a delighted smile. This caused quite the stir. Everyone saw that Yu Zifen was merely a rank 1 celestial. How was challenging a rank 2 celestial any different from suicide? Long Chen, will Yu Zifen? Asked Men Ki worriedly. Don't worry, I believe in him. Long Chen smiled. That smile contained both confidence and pride. In the past few days, he had seen some clues. Now he wanted everyone to bear witness. Ha ha ha, another piece of trash actually came out. Since you want to die, I'll help you out. Wang Yiping was so enraged that he laughed. He felt this to be an insult to him. His runes erupted, and within those runes was a spatial compression. It was the same technique he had used against Song Wuyan. But what startled people was that Yu Zifeng didn't release any of his aura, nor did he release his cry of the heavenly deos. Instead, his right hand slowly grasped the sword on his back. His movements appeared so gentle and slow. In fact, it felt like time had slowed down. Oh young Kiyuaya was shocked. She hadn't thought that Yu Zifeng had already. Careful, shouted Ji Hongling suddenly. Yu Zifeng's sword was unsheathed. A ray of light slashed through the air, splitting apart time and space. It was like this slash was cutting through the past and the future. People simply saw the briefest flash of light before everything returned to normal. His sword was sheathed once more. Yu Zifeng's hand slowly left the hilt of his sword. His face was a bit pale. 
and a trickle of blood dripped from the corner of his mouth. But there was a sacred light shining in his eyes. He turned and went back to his position. People didn't even know what had happened. They saw Wang Yiping simply standing there, still looking forward. Suddenly, Wang Yiping fell forward. At the same time, his body split apart. He was split perfectly in half. A clamor erupted. Yu Zifeng's sword had not only severed his body, but it had also severed his soul. Even his heavenly Dao runes were destroyed. This was truly a peerless attack. You vicious brat. Die. Unexpectedly, Ji Hongling suddenly attacked Yu Zifeng. A strange power was contained in her voice, and that power came crashing towards Yu Zifeng. Long Chen and Men Qi's expressions changed. This was a spiritual attack. An ancestor expert had actually shamelessly targeted a Xianchen disciple. Even Ouyang Qiuayu had never imagined such a thing. Spirit Shield. Both Men Qi and Long Chen activated their spiritual strength to form shields in front of Yu Zifeng. Both of those shields were the same size, but Men Qi's shield was much, much more condensed. With two bangs, their shields exploded. Yu Zifeng collapsed to the ground. You old bitch. You really are looking to die. Suddenly, a furious shout rang out. One that caused the heavens to shake. An absolutely terrifying pressure erupted. One that made it so no one was able to move a finger. The graceful and amicable Ouyang Qiuayu suddenly appeared in front of Ji Hongling and smashed her palm forward. She was truly infuriated. Ji Hongling sneered and extended her own hand. She had long since been looking forward to finding out the power of the Zhuanshan Dao sect sect master. What Ji Hongling hadn't expected was for her hand to instantly explode upon coming into contact with Ouyang Qiuayu's palm. The sound of bones breaking rang out along with her startled and pained cry. You damn bitch. Do you think I'm a pushover? Boom. Ji Hongling's shoulder was directly torn off by Ouyang Qiuayu. To Long Chen and the others' surprise, runes appeared on the ground. The ground instantly became rock and there was no damage on it. However, Ji Hongling's blood was wildly spurting. Senior, please show mercy. A long-haired man suddenly shot forward. Long Chen couldn't help being startled. This person was extremely powerful to be able to move through the pressure of an ancestor. Even he had been unable to move at first. And now, although he would just barely be able to move, he wouldn't be able to move as easily as him. Fuck off. If you piss me off, I'll kill you. Oh young Kiyuayu directly sent out a kick. People didn't even manage to see what was going on when that long-haired man, who was still many meters away, was sent flying. He vomited blood before fainting. This was absolutely horrifying. The amicable and refined Ouyang Qiuayu had suddenly become a berserk dragon. Terrifying to the peak. Fuck. You want to provoke me? Why don't you ask those damn old fellows in your gang just how I gained the name Demon Azura Qiuayu? Boom. I spent the last 800 years to cultivate my mind and character. It was with great difficulty that I managed to suppress my temper. But you, you damn old bitch, had to ruin it. I really will kill you. Boom. As Ouyang Qiuayu cursed, her cursing became more and more crude and obscene. In the end, even Long Chen was wincing. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples were filled with disbelief. This refined and fairy-like sect leader of theirs would actually burst into such foul language when infuriated. Shameless. Despicable. Damnable little bitch. A loss is a loss. But you still had to act so shamelessly. To harm my disciples in front of me. Are you trying to insult me? Pow 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 pow. Even Long Chen, who considered his face slapping art to be unrevealed, had to admit his inferiority when it came to speed. The sect master's slaps were just too fast. In a single breath, she slapped her over a hundred times. Furthermore, the cadence and rhythm were identical for each slap. Long Chen finally learned what it meant for there to be a heaven beyond the heavens. There truly were always more talented people in the world. Were all your years of living wasted? You actually attacked a group of children. So don't blame me for bullying a dog. Suddenly, the sound of bones breaking rang out. Every single bone in Ji Hongling's body was broken one by one by Ouyang Qiuayu. Her body was completely deformed now. Everyone was appalled. They also recalled how the sect master had reported her name as Demon Azura Qiuayu. Azuras were just stories. Evil spirits who preyed on bad children. They were the kind of spirits that ate people's flesh. And these spirits only ate the flesh of the living. They liked to see people being tormented. Although Ouyang Qiuayu appeared as beautiful as ever, her actions caused them to shiver. Ji Hongling had already lost her human form at her hands. Long Chen looked from the berserk Ouyang Qiuayu to the dog like Ji Hongling. He felt a chill. He really had been an idiot. How had he really dared to call her little sister? After an hour, 
Ji Hongling had essentially become a lump of flesh. She had long since lost any semblance of being human. Oh Yang Qiyu finally tossed her aside. Idiot. Let alone you. Even those three damn ghosts of yours wouldn't dare to fart in front of me. A little junior like you also dares to challenge me? If I hadn't reserved my temperament in the past few years, you would be dead. Count yourself lucky. I'll give these children face and let you off once, said Oh Yang Qiyu icily. Ji Hongling's body began to tremble. Heavenly Dao runes appeared around her, rapidly healing her injuries. She was clearly a celestial. She was absolutely terrified. She realized that her late foundation forging power didn't have the slightest bit of ability to retaliate in front of Oh Yang Qiyu. If she had wanted to kill her, she would have long since died. It could be said that Oh Yang Qiyu had completely shattered her confidence. Thinking of how she had vainly wanted to challenge her, she felt it to be so laughable now. She had originally thought that with her talent, combined with the fact that she hadn't wasted any energy on maintaining her youth and looks, she definitely should have been able to fight evenly against Oh Yang Qiyu. But now she had learned what despair was. Long Chen, check that child. If he's crippled, I'll slaughter this bitch to accompany him, said Oh Yang Qiyu. There's no need to look. He's already crippled. Slaughter her, said Long Chen without the slightest hesitation. Oh Yang Qiyu almost laughed in her rage. Long Chen really was too evil. He actually wanted her to kill Ji Hongling. Killing Ji Hongling wouldn't be anything, but she was still the current leader of the Remote Heaven Gang. It wasn't convenient to just kill her like this. Others looked at Long Chen. He actually dared to talk like this to a godlike woman. They had to admire his gods. This is what it meant to be a real man. Don't mess around. Examine him. Oh Yang Qiyu glared at Long Chen. He really is crippled. And in many places. Look. His clothes are crippled in two places, and several strands of his hair have been crippled. Men Qi couldn't bear it and said, Yu Zifeng merely suffered a shock to his soul. There's no major damage. After going through Long Chen and Men Qi's spiritual defenses, only an extremely small portion of Ji Hongling's attack had managed to reach Yu Zifeng. If it was at a normal time, Yu Zifeng would have easily been able to resist it. It was just that he had been completely focused on displaying the sword intent he had just comprehended. Although its power was incredible, it had overdrafted his spiritual strength. Ji Hongling had seen through that weak point, which was why she had used a spiritual attack. Her best option was to get rid of this terrifying sword cultivator before he could grow. Sword cultivators that had comprehended sword intent were incomparably terrifying. The attack power of those sword cultivators had already escaped the bounds of common sense. At this moment, Yu Kianchen was filled with envy. He had obtained the heavenly sword grass, but he hadn't comprehended that ephemeral sword intent. Long Chen had seen clues that Yu Zifeng had begun to emit that kind of sword intent, which was why he had brazenly said to use Wang Yiping as an offering to his sword. That sword offering was to use a powerful opponent as a target, to treat them as his current shackles. Yu Zifeng had broken his shackles in a single blow, allowing his mental realm to rise. However, if he had failed, it would have very likely formed a heart devil. The best target to use as a sword offering was someone incredibly powerful. It was the same old thing. Opportunity existed within danger. So for that sword offering, Yu Zifeng had immediately used his full power. Now, he had succeeded. Once he woke, he would find that he had taken his next step. Just as everyone was staring in shock at Oh Yang Qiyu, a flying boat flew overhead. Seeing the people on the boat, Long Chen and the others' hearts shook. Chapter 774 Old Friends Translator Born to be the reason Long Chen was so shocked was because each of these people had a three-inch horn on their head. It was like a rhinoceros horn. The flying boat stopped, and over 50 young men and women walked down. They ignored everyone's strange gazes. In fact, they seemed extremely arrogant and were actually looking at them in disdain. These are the full moon race's disciples. Oh Yang Qiyu quietly told them that these people possessed an ancient bloodline. The blood flowing within their bodies contained a powerful inheritance and that horn on their heads could release their innate divine abilities. They had to be careful around them. What are you looking at, you inferior bloodline trash? Shouted one of the full moon race's women at the stupefied disciples. Their expressions changed. This was insulting every single person here. She was clearly saying humans were an inferior race. Don't be rude. The lead elder of the full moon race chided her. He nodded slightly at Oyang Kiyu in apology before leading his disciples to find a place to sit. His disciples followed him, sitting down and closing their eyes, not even deigning to look at them. They really are arrogant enough. 
said Guaran irritatedly. I have a cow horn here. Tie it on your head like them, and maybe they'll start treating you like family, said Long Chen also, irritated. Even with Ouyang Qiuayu's countless years of experience, she couldn't help rolling her eyes. She really didn't know what Long Chen's head was filled with. Don't spout nonsense. They are a powerful race from the ancient era. In order to protect their bloodline purity, they don't form relationships with the outside world. They treat their bloodline as their greatest glory, and insulting their bloodline like that will infuriate them, whispered Ouyang Qiuayu. She needed to warn this fearless fellow. Long Chen rolled his eyes, sneering inside. TCH, what kind of reasoning is this? They can jeer at us, but we're not allowed to mock them? They can infuriate us, but we can't infuriate them? What kind of garbage rule is that? But he still gave face to Ouyang Qiuayu. In any case, if others didn't offend him, he wouldn't offend them. He wouldn't cause trouble, but he wasn't afraid of trouble. The tension in the air grew following the full moon race's arrival. Ji Hongling had already recovered from her injuries. Although Ouyang Qiuayu had been vicious, she hadn't really wanted her life. It wasn't difficult for her to recover with her heavenly Dao energy. Chang Kong. Ji Hongling suddenly turned to a disciple beside her. Disciple is present. This man was the one who had moved through Ouyang Qiuayu's pressure when she had suppressed Ji Hongling. He was incredibly powerful. Once you enter the immemorial path, kill any of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples that you see, whispered Ji Hongling. Her hatred of Ouyang Qiuayu had reached a peak, but unable to do anything to her, she had set her gaze on her disciples. Don't worry, as long I catch a glimpse of them, I'll kill them. Even that Nuloi advanced rank 3 celestial, I'm confident I can kill him in under a hundred moves, said that disciple with a sinister smile. Be careful of that Long Chen. I feel like he's strange. Other than him, you absolutely must cut down that sword cultivator. If you allow him to grow, he'll be troublesome for us. He's your main target, said Ji Hongling. The reason Ji Hongling had thrown away her face to attack a Xi'anchen disciple was because of Yu Zifeng's terrifying potential. I understand. I'll definitely give him some special care. He smiled, revealing his teeth, similar to a hidden leopard bearing its fangs. On the side of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, Ouyang Qiuai was informing everyone about some taboos within the immemorial path. Although she had already said all of it before, she said it again to give them a deeper impression. Other than that, take care of the remote Heaven Gang's people, especially that fellow called Ji Chang Kong. When I kicked him, I originally only used 20% of my power, but using a strange magical art, he managed to block a portion of my power. I had no choice but to increase my power in order to send him flying, said Ouyang Qiuayu. Long Chen couldn't help being startled. Ouyang Qiuayu was as close to the king level as possible. Just from seeing how she had completely destroyed the late foundation forging Ji Hongling, it was obvious she was incredibly powerful. But this Ji Chang Kong was actually able to block a portion of her power. That was truly alarming. If he dares to bear his fangs at me, I'll definitely kill him, said Shu Guanzi confidently. Long Chen rolled his eyes. At the same time, he saw ridicule appear deep in Ouyang Qiuayu's eyes. She obviously didn't think Shu Guanzi had that ability. After becoming a rank 3 celestial, a problem had occurred with his mental realm. His confidence had grown out of control. However, she didn't say anything to him. She had once more returned to her amicable and graceful self. It was like she was a completely different person from before. While they were talking, several more flying boats descended. They all came from ancient races. Some of them had scales, some had a tail, and there were some that had a third eye. The one that drew Long Chen's attention the most was the race with a pair of wings on their backs. They had eagle-like eyes as if they could see through a person's heart with just a glance. The person at the front was a tall man. He held a golden bow in his hand. The runes on that bar released powerful fluctuations. How powerful! That man had only just descended from the boat when his gaze swept across everyone. Anyone who was looking directly at him felt a sensation of death fill them. Those people couldn't breathe. He was definitely a supreme expert. That man's gaze paused slightly on Ji Chang Kong and Shu Guanzi before landing on Long Chen. Oh, that man suddenly stopped walking and nodded at Long Chen. Not bad. I've run into an interesting fellow. You're a pretty good prey. Everyone was startled. This person was actually so arrogant. As soon as he arrived, he acted so domineering directly treating Long Chen as prey. Don't think that just because you have a pair of wings that you're so amazing. In truth, all you are is a bird man. Does that have a bird's use? Or perhaps a feather's use? Retorted Long Chen. 
This person truly was strong. Even Long Chen felt a quiver in his heart. But that didn't mean he had the qualifications to insult him. Courting death. The dozens of experts behind that person immediately raised their bows. Cold arrows pointed in Long Chen's direction. Gu Yang and the others were infuriated. And so was Long Chen. He loathed it when people pointed their weapons at him like this. He icily said. I'll count to three. If you don't put away your bows. I'll make it so you never see tomorrow's sun. One. Arrogance. That man merely smiled indifferently. Two. Long Chen ignored him. Everyone was startled. They looked at Oh Yang Kiyu. But she didn't say anything. She was just watching with no intention of stopping this. Although Oh Yang Kiyu had warned Long Chen to do his best not to provoke the ancient races. That was because she was worried they would suffer in the immemorial path. It was different now. They were cursing right at them with her present. She naturally wouldn't stop Long Chen from fighting. Although the ancient races were powerful. So what? She was backed by the head sect. And so she wasn't afraid of anyone. On the cultivation path. Making concessions was the start of Defa Achuring. She also wanted to see just how strong Long Chen was. Long Chen was just about to shout three. And he was ready to fight and kill all those people. Although that would expose his power. He didn't care that much anymore. He couldn't swallow this anger. Put them away. As a hunter. The joy is in hunting. Killing him here is meaningless. That man waved his hand, and those people put away their bows. But they still icily glared at Long Chen with ridicule and disdain. Boss, let's kill them. They're too infuriating, said Guo Ran. Let it be. Of everyone here now, we don't have that many friends. Revealing our trump cards will allow others to find more openings. People will come up with plans in accordance with our fighting styles. It might be satisfying in the short term, but once we're all in danger, it won't be worth it. Once we're in the immemorial path, there won't be so many watchers. You can kill as you please. Remember, we are a team, and we have to think about everyone. Long Chen patted Guo Ran on the shoulder. His words weren't just to Guo Ran, but also Gu Yang and the others. It was a warning. He had always told them that there was no unrevealed magical art in this world. Once your trump cards were exposed, your enemies would come up with a way to handle them. Then you wouldn't be far from death. In order to survive longer. You either had to not let your opponent see your trump cards, or you had to immediately kill your opponents with them. It wasn't just for yourself, but your companions. Brat, remember my name. I am Yu Chang Heo from the Feather Race. I am the one who will kill you. That man had already walked away when he suddenly turned his head back. I am Long Chen. You should remember it, because I am the one who will pluck off all your feathers and cut off your bird head. Long Chen's final words caused quite a few people's expressions to become odd. It was unknown whether Long Chen was referring to his big head or small head. The disturbance caused by Yu Chang Heo had only just passed when another flying boat arrived. Seeing the mark on it, Oh Yang Kiyu smiled slightly at Long Chen. Your old friends have arrived. Bird is slang for penis. I won't be putting a footnote for every time it's used. Chapter 775 Terrifying Assassin Wang Junmo Translator Born to be this flying boat actually had over a hundred celestials on it. That was an extremely terrifying number. It was the most powerful group that had arrived. Each of them was wearing a fiendish mask. It was made of blood-colored essence metal and was extremely detailed. A dense bloody air came from them. One that made people's hair stand on end. It was like they were staring at a group of fiends. The Blood Kill Hall. Long Chen was a bit shocked. He hadn't expected that the Blood Kill Hall was so powerful that they had more than triple the celestials of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. These people were no ordinary experts. Long Chen was extremely familiar with their auras. There's no need to find it odd. When it comes to resources, other than the Pill Tower and the Huaian sect, the next richest power is these assassins. They are spread through every corner of the continent. All they care about is money. As long as you have enough money, you can buy anyone's life. The accumulated wealth of the Blood Kill Hall is definitely beyond your imagination. Furthermore, the disciples they raise are all tools for killing. With their special methods of raising their disciples, there's no need to question their strength. Don't look down on them. Although they're infamous, and although they've been surrounded and annihilated countless times in the past, they always come back stronger than ever. Their foundation isn't any weaker than any supreme sect in fact. It might be even greater. Warned Oh Yang Kiyu. Their hearts shook. It was unexpected that the blood kill had such a solid foundation. Previously, they had thought them to just be some degenerate assassins. These people carried swords on their backs, but their swords were extremely slender. In terms of length, they were similar to regular swords. 
but the width of the sheet showed that they were thinner. The person at the front also wore a mask, but his mask was covered in lines. The others behind him also had such lines, but most only had three to five of them. His mask was covered in lines. There had to be over a hundred of them. Oh young Kiyuayu said, I didn't expect for such a terrifying figure to have arisen in the blood kill hall. What do you mean? Asked Long Chen. Those masks are a display of their glory. Each time they assassinate someone a whole major realm above them, the blood kill hall will add a line to their mask to show their power. Said Oh young Kiyuayu. Heavens. Doesn't that mean this person has assassinated over a hundred sea expansion experts? Cried a disciple. That's not all. I've heard that a hundred lines is the limit. Each mask will only have one hundred lines. But his mask has one hundred and thirty-seven lines. Those extra thirty-seven lines represent an assassination that was almost impossible to accomplish. Said Oh Young Kiyuaya with profound meaning. Almost impossible to accomplish? Could it be? Yes. It's to assassinate sea expansion celestials. In other words, he has killed 37 celestials that had reached the sea expansion realm, said Ouyang Kiyuayu. They were all appalled. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's monastery heads were sea expansion experts, but not one of them was a celestial. It was said that celestials that had reached the sea expansion realm would be sent to the head sect but this man had actually killed 37 people on that level. Even Long Chen was shocked. Our eastern wasteland doesn't have that many sea expansion celestials. This person should have gone to the Central Plains, or perhaps he was originally from the Central Plains and came here for the opening of the Immemorial Path, said Ouyang Kiyuayu. Long Chen was shocked. That was very likely. He had heard that the Central Plains was the true stage of geniuses, a land full of hidden dragons and crouching tigers. In comparison to the Eastern Wasteland, one was a flourishing city, while one was a desolate village. Someone in the city wouldn't be able to claim himself to be anyone special. But in that village, they would be a peerless genius. And without so many competitors, it might be easier to obtain priceless treasures and opportunities. Men Qi and Tang Wanner looked at Long Chen worriedly. They all knew what had transpired between Long Chen and the Blood Kill Hall. Perhaps there would be a bloody battle as soon as they encountered each other. The only elder in the Blood Kill Hall's group wasn't wearing a mask. His robes were gray, and his face was stern. He led his people forward. When they passed by the Zhuangshan Dao sect's people, the man with the lines on his mask suddenly stopped and looked at Long Chen. Long Chen smiled oddly. Was he really so lacking in character? The only people who came to find him were those trying to find trouble for him. Why weren't there any suck-ups trying to become friends with him? Long Chen. That man's voice was incredibly icy, and it gave people chills. I'm not lending money, said Long Chen directly. That man ignored Long Chen's reply and icily said, You shouldn't have blasphemed the god. The immemorial path will be your burial ground. It's still too early to say that. We'll see, said Long Chen. Although Ouyang Kiyuayu had said that this person was extremely terrifying, he wasn't afraid. The feeling of mortal danger that this person gave him was on the same level as Yu Chang Heo and Ji Chang Kong. But after so many years of fighting his way through his troubles, Long Chen had built up his confidence. As long as it was someone in the same realm, he refused to lose. This confidence was something built from the corpses of countless experts. Ha ha ha, interesting. Another powerful prey. It seems the immemorial path will be extremely marvelous this time, said Yu Chang Heo suddenly. Everyone was startled. This Yu Chang Heo was truly arrogant. After provoking Long Chen, he had actually provoked a terrifying assassin. Yu Chang Heo, correct? I've always wanted to meet you to learn whether you are really as powerful as the rumors say. Unfortunately. I never got the mission to kill you, and I couldn't break the Blood Kill Hall's rules. But there's one thing you said right. The immemorial path will definitely be extremely marvelous this time, said that man. Ha, huh, don't bother. Your assassination arts are just a joke in front of me. Report your name, or I won't even know the person I'll kill in the future, said Yu Chang Heo. Wang Junmo, remember this name, because it's very likely you'll be killed by the person with that name. Wang Junmo indifferently tossed out some words before leaving. His people found a secluded place to sit. Following Wang Junmo's arrival, it was like a shadow had been cast over everyone's hearts. These assassins were just too terrifying. By the time you sensed their arrival, you would already be dead. How do you feel Long Chen? Asked Ouyang Kiyuayu. Under pressure, Long Chen obediently nodded. He truly was under pressure. Although he was confident in not being defeated, he wasn't confident in gaining victory. This was his first time encountering such powerful opponents. Although they hadn't exchanged blows, 
Just from his intuition, he knew that Wang Junmo, Yu Chang Hao, and Ji Chang Kong were all terrifying fellows. Although Ji Chang Kong had used some secret technique to keep his power hidden from the other two, he hadn't been able to hide it from Long Chen. Furthermore, it wasn't just them. Amongst the ancient races, there were several powerful experts. Long Chen sensed eight people who could be ranked three celestials. Adding on the power of their bloodline inheritance, they would be extremely powerful. Perhaps it won't be as simple as just being under some pressure. There are already two experts who have publicly said they will take your life. Has the thought of accepting your death crossed your mind yet? Sneered Shu Guanzi. You idiot water pipe. Are you trying to get yourself killed? My boss has always been too lazy to bother with you, but you still continue to spout your shit. Is it addicting to have shit come out of your mouth? If you really want to die, I'll immediately fulfill your wish. Guo Ran finally couldn't bear it any longer. If Long Chen hadn't said that he couldn't fight here, he would have long since summoned his armor and killed this idiot. His mouth was too detestable. Shu Guanzi, do you not feel like you're becoming more and more excessive? Do you believe me when I say I will immediately strip you of your right to participate in the immemorial path? Even though Yang Qiuaya was angry now, Shu Guanzi had actually not given her any face and insulted Long Chen right in front of her. That was already extremely rude to her as the sect master. As for Long Chen, while he was also unruly, he always kept it within the proper limit. He had never given her an uncomfortable feeling. But Shu Guanzi really was hateful. She didn't want to chide her disciples in front of everyone, but this brat had far exceeded her tolerance. Shu Guanzi also felt like he had gone too far. If he infuriated the sect master and lost his right to participate in the immemorial path, he really would not even have a place to cry. Sect master, please calm down. Disciple was just joking with Long Chen. Disciple knows his wrongs. Shu Guanzi hastily bowed in apology. Although she knew that Shu Guanzi fundamentally did not really know his wrongs, Oh Yang Qiuayu didn't bother with him. Shu Guanzi had already been afflicted by a heart devil. No one's words would be able to get through to him. It was best for him to just self-destruct somewhere else. Once Shu Guanzi had shut his mouth, Long Chen began to talk to the people by his side. Men Qi, Wan Er, Gu Yang, Zifeng, and Guo Ran, you can move about freely in the immemorial path. You all have the power to protect yourselves, so I'm not really worried about you. As for Mingguan and Li Qi, you two are a bit weaker. Guo Ran, give them both a tracking device, and give another one to Wild. As long as they're within a few thousand miles from each other, they'll be able to regroup. As for Wild, he gets lost too easily, so he probably won't be able to understand. You two should do your best to find Wild as soon as possible. That way, it'll be much safer with the three of you together. Wild is strong, but he needs you two to look after him as well. You'll be making up for each other's weak points. Guo Ran handed two devices to them, and he also clipped one to Wild's waist. Wild was still fast asleep. Over ten more flying boats came over. More and more experts had gathered. Suddenly, a powerful spatial fluctuation erupted and so was the ground. Oh Young Kiuaya waved her hand, creating a transparent barrier to protect her people. Up in the air, a huge vortex appeared. It looked just like the mouth of a beast that wanted to devour all of heaven and earth. The spatial gate has appeared. Chapter 776 Enemies Often Cross Paths Translator Born to be everyone was calmly sitting and adjusting themselves to maintain their peak states when rumbling filled the air. Light erupted, and endless primal chaos raged in the air. A huge portal appeared. This portal continuously opened and closed, like the mouth of a beast. This is the entrance of the immemorial path. Because of the transformations in the world, the entrance is damaged and unstable. You have to enter quickly. But before that, let me tell you again. Once you're in, be careful, careful, and even more careful, warned Ouyang Qiuayu. Long Chen and the others nodded. They knew that Ouyang Qiuayu was saying this so that the rather conceited fellows didn't vainly throw their lives away inside. Everyone sprang into motion. The Feather Race's people were the fastest. Their wings flashed and they were like a ray of light as they directly shot into the spatial gate. That speed was absolutely incredible. Those birdmen really are fast, praised Guo Ran. Everyone prepare yourself. Ah, wild, wake up, wild, there's meat, shouted Long Chen. Meat? Where? Wild had still been sleeping when Long Chen told him to get up, but as soon as he heard there was meat, he shot up so quickly that everyone jumped. They were speechless. The meat's inside there. Other than that, listen. Long Chen pointed to the gate and also told Wild not to run too fast. 
he had to give time for Li Qi and Song Mingyuan to find him. After that and saying goodbye to Ouyang Qiuayu, Long Chen led his people toward the gate. Ouyang Qiuayu had said that this gate was damaged and that they would all be individually sent to random places. In other words, it was very likely that if two people tried to enter while holding hands, space might directly tear them apart, and in the process, their individual bodies might also be torn apart, so they could only resign themselves to their fate. The most terrifying thing was that this spatial gate was unstable. If something unexpected happened during the transportation, you might get lost within the chaotic flow of space. Within that chaotic flow, there were countless spatial storms. Even treasure items would be instantly destroyed inside, let alone a person. If someone entered it, there would be no chance of surviving for them. So everyone was nervous about entering. Currently, the Feather Race, the Blood Kill Hall, and the Remote Heaven Gang had already entered. Brothers, I wish you all luck. Once we're inside, let's completely flip the world, laughed Long Chen. He stepped in. As soon as he did, he felt terrifying spatial fluctuations. Normal transportation formations were like sitting in a carriage traveling smoothly over a flat road. Although it was slow, it was very steady. As for good transportation formations, they felt like flying through the air, and were both fast and steady. But here, it was like a carriage was traveling as fast as possible over a path filled with potholes. It made Long Chen feel like heaven and earth were spinning around him, and he almost vomited. Long Chen didn't know how long he had flown through the spatial channel, and after spinning so much, he couldn't even tell what direction was up or down. Eventually, he crashed into a small mountain. That mountain was directly blasted to smithereens. Uh Long Chen patted the dust off his body and viciously spat on the ground, spitting out the mud and dirt in his mouth. How was this a transportation? It was more like he had been shot out of a cannon. Only now did he have a chance to appraise his surroundings. This was also a barren land, but rugged boulders of stone were everywhere, looking like a maze. Looking up, he saw a single sun in the sky. The environment was about the same as his world, but there was a strange and ancient feeling to this place. This is the immemorial path? Where's the path? Long Chen jumped onto a high boulder and saw that this kind of land stretched into the distance. There were large mountains that blocked his line of sight, and he rushed over to one of them. He found one aspect of the immemorial path which was different from his world. His divine sense was greatly restricted here, to the point where it didn't even go as far as his sight. It could only stretch a few dozen miles. Furthermore, he found that the primal chaos bead was automatically circulating to absorb some kind of unknown energy within the immemorial path. They said that the immemorial path contains the immortal era's secret to reaching immortality and godhood. Is that secret related to the aura here? Long Chen was lost in thought as he examined the primal chaos bead. The primal chaos bead was something he had obtained in the Jiuli secret realm. Back then, even before entering the Jiuli secret realm, he had felt a summoning just from hearing its name. After obtaining it, he had confirmed that it was what had been summoning him. He still knew far too little about the primal chaos bead. It not only possessed its own world, but was also able to offer him an unending source of life energy. It had also helped him subdue the earth flame. Furthermore, it could absorb the heavenly Dao runes from the fallen celestials to create heavenly Dao fruits. All of that was incredibly miraculous. Now, it had begun to automatically absorb some unknown energy within the immemorial path. That made Long Chen even more curious about the primal chaos bead. After traveling for two hours, Long Chen arrived at the peak of a mountain. This mountain was completely barren without even a single blade of grass. It practically looked like a rock, but it was huge and so standing on the peak, he had a wide view of his surroundings. But before Long Chen could look into the distance, he suddenly found another person standing on the mountain peak. Moreover, this guy had also been about to look around. Long Chen, ha 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 ha, today's the day of your death. That person was delighted and surprised to see him. Enemies really do often cross paths. Long Chen looked at Xu Guanzi and couldn't help smiling. Long Chen, you caused my family head to die. The enmity between us is irreconcilable. Tell me, how do you want to die? Xu Guanzi's face was twisted with killing intent. It was like he was a hunter looking at his prey. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to argue with him. Xu Yankong's death had been his own fault, and it was something unrelated to him. Even though Xu Yankong had come to a moment of enlightenment right before his death, Long Chen didn't feel the slightest bit guilty. A blood red saber appeared in Long Chen's hand. He raised it toward Xu Guanzi. You'll be the one to die today. Haha, <laughs> what an ego. I'll let you see a rank 3 celestial's power. 
What true power is? Cry of the Shu Guan's he sneer was cut off as a lightning spear suddenly pierced through the back of his chest. The lightning runes crazily devoured his life. You. Shu Guan's he looked at the lightning spear piercing through his chest. He turned back, but then suddenly felt a chill at his neck as his head was cut off by Long Chen's saber. During a battle, you actually dare to get distracted? Do you think I don't exist? Long Chen leaned against his saber, shaking his head. The lightning spear's runes lit up, and Shu Guan's he's body was blown to pieces. The lightning spear transformed into a lightning dragon that returned to Long Chen's arm. You. Shu Guan's he was horrified. He had never dreamed that after becoming a rank 3 celestial, he would end up in such a situation against Long Chen. Idiot. Did you think I would fight you as foolishly as when we were on the Netherworld Heaven Staircase? I was just testing you all at that time to see how strong a rank 2 celestial really was and to see your techniques. To tell you the truth, I really am not proficient in fighting. I'm only proficient in killing. The difference is that the former is just a stupid clash of power. A competition of who has more trump cards and who can look more graceful when fighting. But the latter is much simpler. It is to use the simplest method and the smallest price to cut down your opponent. I've clearly grasped all your trump cards. While you don't even know how many trump cards I have. Did you think you could crush me easily just because you got stronger? I really admire your imagination. A long time ago, I told you that if you wanted to die, you could find me. Now you should believe it, said Long Chen to Shu Guanzi's severed head. Shu Guanzi's body was destroyed, and with just his head, there was no way for him to use the Heavenly Dao recovery. Even a rank 3 celestial was unable to reform their entire physical bodies quickly, so he had now become Long Chen's prey. In truth, Shu Guanzi was definitely an idiot. When Long Chen had seen him, Shu Guanzi had stood still with his arms clasped behind his back, but Long Chen had stealthily had Lai Long slip into the ground. While he had been talking with Shu Guanzi, Lai Long had gone around him. Next, Long Chen had used his saber to draw his attention. By using a weak, ordinary saber attack, he had caused Shu Guanzi to look down on him. As a result, he had fallen for it. In truth, even if he had fallen for it, with his power, he could have used his heavenly Dao energy to force Lai Long out of his body. Although that would have exhausted his core energy, he still would have had some ability to fight. But what even Long Chen found inconceivable was that Shu Guanzi had actually thought there had been someone behind him, and he had turned back to look. So Long Chen hadn't hesitated and had helped him see that there really was no one behind him. I heard that you once killed a rank 2 celestial from the corrupt path. Hmm. I really wonder whether that celestial was a pig said Long Chen disdainfully. With this kind of intelligence, it really was a miracle that Shu Guanzi had managed to live this long. Had fate decided that he had to die by his hands? Long Chen, I don't want to die. I'm willing to have you place a spiritual seal on me and become your servant. With just a head, with death imminent, Shu Guanzi finally knew what terror was. You don't have the qualifications to be my servant. We're all busy, so you can go now. The sooner you die, the sooner you'll reincarnate. Long Chen slowly pointed a finger. No, please. A lightning arrow pierced Shu Guanzi's head. It not only destroyed his head, but it also destroyed his soul. A generation's genius had fallen. Within the primal chaos space, a new heavenly Dao fruit was born. One with three marks. He, a rank three heavenly Dao fruit. Good stuff. Long Chen laughed. It seemed he really could obtain many things from the immemorial path. Even if he just relied on killing people he would make plenty of profit. After dealing with Shu Guanzi's corpse, he tossed his spatial ring into the primal chaos space. He could go through it when he had time. At this moment, Bloodrinker flashed and sent him a message. Chapter 777 Feather Race Expert Translator Born to be Long Chen looked at Bloodrinker in surprise. Its spirit had actually sent him a message. This was his first time connecting on this level with Bloodrinker's spirit. But that message was extremely unclear. The general meaning was that it was in a special state and was preparing to completely absorb all the phoenix blood black gold. Then does that mean I can't use you during this time? How long will it take for you to recover? Asked Long Chen. After a while, Bloodrinker once more sent him a spiritual message, saying that the phoenix blood essence gold could only recover its physical damage and that its spiritual damage would require much more spiritual strength in order to heal. In order to heal its physical body, it would require between a few months to a year. It couldn't be sure. But it told Long Chen that once its physical body was healed, it could work with Long Chen to release even stronger attacks. It was just that it couldn't be disturbed during this healing process. 
so it needed Long Chen's opinion. You can go ahead. Don't worry, Long Chen decided to allow Bloodrinker to enter seclusion to heal. Although he needed Bloodrinker, in the long term, it was best for it to increase its power. Bloodrinker entered the primal chaos space and once more stabbed into the phoenix blood black gold. Long Chen could see energy being rapidly absorbed by it. He helplessly searched in Chu Guan's his spatial ring. He found a saber inside, but it was a Zhan Mateo, not an ordinary saber. Its blade was narrow, and it was too light. It was very similar to a long sword. Long Chen frowned slightly. Using this kind of blade would require more finesse and technique. But he didn't like that kind of flashy fighting style. What he liked was to directly hack his saber down and crush his opponents with pure power. However, this was a middle grade enchanted item. If he used split the heavens with it, the effect would be greater than using a lightning or flame blade. He placed the San Mateo on his back. The feeling really was different, but it could be used to confuse his opponents. When he fought, their attention would very likely be drawn to the saber. They wouldn't know that in truth. It would mostly just be used to pose. Patting his hands, Long Chen finally had a chance to appraise his surroundings. In the distance, he saw several figures rushing around, but they were too far and he wasn't able to see their clothes or appearances. According to reason, they should be disciples attending the immemorial path. He also rushed off. Looking in one direction, he saw footprints. That should be a path. Long Chen wasn't in a hurry. The immemorial path would be open for a year. But what was different from the Jiuli secret realm was that when the time was up, they wouldn't need to find any spatial gates to leave. They were outsiders, and the immemorial path had placed a marker on them they would be transported out automatically to where they came from. Even if they wanted to stay in the immemorial path, they couldn't. Long Chen saw several figures ahead that were just standing still. He only realized that they were watching a battle once he passed by them. In the distance, two disciples were fighting a corrupt expert. The corrupt expert was an expert spear wielder, and even one against two, he was still suppressing them. Although he didn't know why these two righteous disciples would fight with the corrupt disciple here. He did see four righteous disciples just watching. Long Chen had an urge to slap these spectators to death. Even if the righteous path had to always fight against each other, when there was a common enemy, they should unite against them. How had these people reached this level of stupidity? The corrupt disciple was truly powerful. His attacks were decisive, and his physical body was extremely powerful. A sea of spear images completely enveloped the two disciples. Boom. Suddenly, the corrupt disciple forced one of them back and his spear directly pierced toward the other. That person was appalled. There was no way he could dodge this attack. A large hand appeared and caught the tip of the spear. The corrupt disciple was startled. No matter how he tried, he was unable to pull his spear back. Die. This person was Long Chen. Pushing the spear forward, an immense power surged toward the corrupt disciple. Before he could even realize what had happened, his own spear's hilt pierced through his chest. But what astonished everyone was that when the spear pierced his body, a powerful force directly blew his body to pieces. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, the two of them were delighted. Long Chen was startled, and then looking carefully at them, he saw their robes marked them as disciples from the small sects that had come to greet the Zhuanshan Dao sect previously. Many thanks, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. If it weren't for you, the two of us would never have been able to return, thanked one of the two disciples. Long Chen nodded, looking at the spectators. He coldly shouted, if you don't want to die, then fuck off. Those people's expressions changed and they hastily fled. They didn't know how they had infuriated this person, but from what he had just done, they could see that if he wanted to kill them, it would be as easy as turning his hand. What happened? Asked Long Chen. I was rather unlucky and encountered that corrupt disciple. Just when I was in an extremely desperate moment, senior apprentice brother Wan came to help me. That was the only way I managed to survive for so long. That person looked at the senior apprentice brother Wan beside him gratefully. Long Chen nodded. As members of the same sect, being able to risk your life to save each other shows that you care about your relationships. However, your fighting style is garbage. That corrupt disciple was powerful, but if the two of you had been willing to risk your lives, you would have had a 90% chance of defeating him. Unfortunately, you didn't have that courage, which is why you almost died. Since you can fight shoulder to shoulder, you should trust each other. You should be able to put your lives in the other person's hands. One of you should put his life on the line, while the other makes up for any openings. That would be better than just fighting your own battle. I was able to save you this time. 
but that doesn't mean someone will still be there to save you next time. If you still can't comprehend what I'm saying, then you should just dig a hole and hide in there until the year's up. Long Chen turned and left. During that critical moment, neither of them had been willing to abandon the other to escape. If he hadn't seen that, he wouldn't have wasted time saying nonsense to them. But a person could only help someone for a time. Long Chen couldn't save the entire world, nor was he the kind of person who would want to. Many thanks, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. We understand. The two of them looked at each other and immediately comprehended something. Long Chen randomly waved his hand to them to express that he heard them. He continued on his way. Up ahead, the land was no longer so barren. Instead, there was a huge mountain range filled with greenery. Towering trees soared into the sky, and thick vines coiled around them. Even before he arrived, a dense spiritual key assaulted him. That density was almost like it had become liquid. This really is a good place. The density of spiritual key here is tens of times greater than in the Zhuanshan Dao sect, said Long Chen with shock. It had to be known that the Zhuanshan Dao sect had the support of spirit gathering formations. That was what made its spiritual key so dense. But here, in this ordinary mountain range, the spiritual key was unbelievably dense. Seven fire essence grass. Long Chen instantly saw a seventh tier medicinal ingredient beneath a large tree. In the outer world, this kind of grass was extremely rare. He hadn't expected to see dozens of stalks of it here. He had just been about to go pick them when his heart shook, and he hastily dodged to the side. Boom. An arrow flew right by Long Chen. The ground erupted, leaving a crater hundreds of meters wide. You were actually able to dodge my hidden arrow. No wonder the junior master would be interested in you. Up in the sky. A man with a pair of azure wings and a bow in his hands icily looked down on Long Chen. Obviously, the arrow had come from him. Long Chen patted the dust off him. He indifferently said, Birdman, do you know? This arrow of yours has brought a calamity upon yourself. This person was from the feather race. They had an innate pair of wings on their backs that allowed them to fly in the air and made their speed incredible. They were extremely powerful. Normally, only sea expansion experts could reach the realm of transforming spiritual key into wings. As for using runes as wings, only rank 2 celestials were capable of that. Compared to ordinary celestials, they possessed a large advantage. Even a rank 2 celestial's runic wings would only allow them to float in the air. When compared to the wings of the feather race, they weren't even close to the same level. That was why the feather race looked down on people in the same realm. What boasting. Originally. You should have been left to the junior master, but since you've angered me, I've decided to kill you. An idiot like you isn't fit for the junior master to personally kill. The feather race expert raised his bow, and suddenly dozens of arrows shot toward Long Chen. Their speed was incomparable, and they came at crafty angles. They sealed any directions Long Chen could dodge, but just when those arrows were about to reach him, Long Chen vanished. The feather race expert was startled. His divine sense had clearly locked down Long Chen. But Long Chen had suddenly disappeared from his senses. Long Chen used the Netherworld ghost steps to dodge the arrows and directly appeared in front of the feather race expert. A large hand came for his face. P.O.W. What kind of joke was this? If someone wanted to use spiritual strength to lock down another person, the former would require at least twice the spiritual strength of the latter. Let alone this feather race expert. Even Men Qi wouldn't be able to do that to Long Chen. The feather race expert's jaw was broken from Long Chen's slap. Even an ordinary slap from Long Chen wasn't something normal people could endure. The people I loathe the most are you poser birdman. Fuck. How dare you be even more of a poser than me? Today, I'll strip you of all your bird feathers. A pair of lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back. He suddenly went to grab the feather race expert's neck. Chapter 778 Beheaded Translator Born to be Thunderforce inherently possessed avoid breaking ability. There was practically no spatial resistance. The feather race expert's head was still muddled from being slapped. But suddenly seeing that Long Chen had arrived right in front of him, his wings lit up. Oh, Long Chen was surprised. He had tried to grab the feather race expert's throat, but he had missed. He was already hundreds of meters away with his bow knocked. Cloud splitting arrow. A huge arrow pierced through the air. It practically reached Long Chen the instant it left the bowstring. This arrow was covered in runes. Long Chen was a bit startled. As expected, the Feather Race's name was not for nothing. Even such an ordinary celestial was able to condense their heavenly Dao runes into their arrows to give them incredible power. It was similar to Yu Kai Anshan's technique. Split your bird clouds, snorted Long Chen. Light danced over his fist as he slammed it into the arrow. 
boom. In front of the feather race expert's appalled gaze, his powerful arrow was blown apart by Long Chen's fist. Long Chen wasn't the slightest bit injured. Impossible. Receive another one of my attacks. The feather race expert roared furiously, and he continuously shot out arrow after arrow, all of them enveloped by his heavenly Dao runes. This kind of attack was something ordinary celestials would need to use their full strength to block. If they could block a single one of them, that would already be impressive. To block three in a row would be essentially impossible. The experts from the feather race had an innate advantage over others. With their wings, they possessed both great speed and could get a terrain advantage by shooting from the air. However, he was rather unlucky to have run into Long Chen. His terrifying arrows were smashed apart one by one by Long Chen's fists. Powerful explosions rocked the land. Because they were fighting in the air, quite a few people in these mountain ranges came to watch. Heavens, isn't this person from the feather race, who would be so brazen as to challenge one of them? Are they suicidal? Wondered some people. Before entering, their sect leaders had all warned them not to provoke anyone from the feather race. If they offended other experts, they could always flee. But against the feather race, there was no way to run. Damn, isn't that Long Chen, the number one disciple of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, a demon class genius who even suppressed their four heavenly geniuses. Although Long Chen didn't possess much fame, the feather races Yu Chang Heo had challenged him before the immemorial path opened with all of them watching, and Long Chen hadn't taken his challenge lying down, even up against the feather races junior master, he was still so valiant. Also, even the blood kill halls Wang Junmo had said he would personally kill him, so it was a given that he had drawn quite a bit of attention. Boom. Long Chen's fist smashed apart the final arrow. He icily looked at his opponent. In truth, he was just probing him wanting to learn the feather race's style of fighting in preparation for handling Yu Chang Heo. His opponent was a bit pale now. He had shot out dozens of his heavenly Dao-empowered arrows. Now, his heavenly Dao energy was running low, while Long Chen still seemed so relaxed. That made him a bit afraid. He finally realized why someone as powerful as Yu Chang Heo would be interested in him. HMPH, you have some ability. Only like this do you have the qualifications to die at the hands of the junior master. Count your blessings. After saying this, the feather race expert actually fled, turning into a ray of light. What? He had only flown a few hundred meters away when he suddenly realized that there was a person in front of him with lightning wings. Wasn't that Long Chen? I've already said that your arrow brought you a calamity. Did he really think he could just shoot him and then flee once he was unable to win while spouting such arrogant words? Such a good thing couldn't possibly happen. Long Chen pointed his finger toward the birdman. Lightning finger. Due to how hastily he was fleeing, the feather race expert was unable to come to a complete stop in time. A destructive lightning arrow pierced through his body. He didn't even have a chance to scream before his body directly exploded into a bloody mist. Within that bloody mist were many feathers. He died. Just like that. The spectators were all stunned. Someone from the powerful feather race was unable to receive a single blow from Long Chen. It was no wonder Yu Chang Heo and Wang Junmo would challenge him. This kind of power was horrifying and far beyond their comprehension. After killing him, another heavenly Dao fruit appeared in the primal chaos space. Now that his cultivation base had increased, he didn't need to go destroy Celestial's heavenly Dao runes. Once they were killed, their heavenly Dao runes would be automatically absorbed by the primal chaos space. This was excellent. Even if he couldn't find anything else, just getting over 300 heavenly Dao fruits would satisfy Long Chen. Thinking of himself leading a dragon blood legion where all 360 members were celestials, he was filled with anticipation. This Long Chen has provoked a calamity. Yu Chang Heo definitely won't let him off. TCH, that Yu Chang Heo is too arrogant. Long Chen was right. They really are just a bunch of birdmen. Don't they like to call themselves the ancient races? They're just a bunch of hybrids. Shut up. Even if you don't want to live, don't bring us down. After killing his opponent, Long Chen examined the spectators watching him. He didn't notice anyone he recognized. It seemed the sect master's words were correct. The immemorial path was truly vast, and no one knew where others were teleported to. Although he was a bit worried about Song Mingyuan and Li Qi, they couldn't entirely rely on others to live in the cultivation world. They needed to rely on themselves. He ignored the gazes of these people and went on his way. Previously, Oh Young Kiyuayu had explained some taboos to them but she hadn't given them a map. Oh Young Kiyuayu's reasoning was extremely simple. Whether it was the righteous experts or corrupt experts, they all had maps. 
If you wanted one, you could snatch one whenever. Back then, Long Chen hadn't really understood. This sect master of his really was too lazy. She hadn't even prepared maps or even given them directions. Later, after being in contact with her for longer, he had realized that Ouyang Kiyuaya was different from most leaders. She liked to let nature take its course, and she didn't like interfering with the matters of disciples. In her opinion, experts should grow in the wild. Those that were raised in offense weren't true geniuses. At first, Long Chen had found that a bit odd, but he did admire Ouyang Kiyuaya's viewpoint. It was fated for experts to experience all kinds of trials. Only then could they truly release their light. Sometimes, helping someone with good intentions might end up irrevocably harming them. Obviously, after Ouyang Kiyuayu had managed to control her temper, she had also managed to attain a much higher level of enlightenment. On his way, Long Chen found quite a few high-tire medicinal ingredients. After passing through several mountains, he noticed more and more people around and many of them were people he didn't recognize. They were wearing the righteous path's robes, but they hadn't entered from the same entrance as him. Ouyang Kiyuayu had said that the eastern wasteland had two entrances available to them, and she had chosen the closer one. He supposed these people were the ones that came from the other entrance. They looked at Long Chen oddly, because they didn't sense any aura of the heavenly deos coming from his body. In other words, he wasn't a celestial. Brat suddenly, a large fellow blocked Long Chen's path looking at him disdainfully. Pow. Fuck off. Don't waste my time. Can't you do proper things? Next time you get in my way, I'll slap you to death. Long Chen knew what this idiot was planning with just a glance at his eyes. In the eastern wasteland, Long Chen might have some fame, but that fame was mainly that he had the ability to fight celestials without actually being a celestial. So unable to sense Long Chen's heavenly day aura, they recognized who he was. Many celestials refused to accept the rumors. They felt that Long Chen was blaspheming the dignity of celestials. That person had come out to test Long Chen. But as a result, he was knocked unconscious by his slap. This group of people really had to have something wrong with their brains. They didn't use their time to explore, to find treasures, or even to kill enemies. Instead, they came to find trouble for him. If Long Chen's mood wasn't so good, he'd have directly smashed apart his head. In truth, Long Chen had really had an urge to do just that. Even if it wasn't for anything else, just a heavenly day of fruit made it worth it. But Long Chen restrained that kind of desire. He couldn't use greed as an excuse to kill people. Otherwise, he would no longer be Long Chen. After slapping that person away, Long Chen suddenly saw four people rapidly rushing across the land. They were wearing the corrupt path's robes. The food's come. Long Chen was delighted and he suddenly appeared in front of them, roaring. These mountains were opened by me. These trees were planted damn it. Can't you wait for me to finish talking? Long Chen had only just started talking when the four corrupt experts released their cries of the heavenly deos and attacked him. The person at the front was a large man whose fist shone with a bronze light. Boom. Without even looking, Long Chen also sent out a fist. As a result, half of that person's body was smashed to pulp. The other corrupt experts were stunned. Long Chen once more let out a punch. And that injured man didn't even have a chance to speak before his head was blown apart. Currently, Long Chen's fourth star was growing stronger with each passing day. Long Chen consumed medicinal pills like candy, constantly feeding it energy. He already had the ability to kill ordinary celestials with just brute physical power. Furthermore, one benefit of only relying on his physical body was that there were no spiritual yuan fluctuations, which made it so his enemies were unable to instinctively predict what he was doing. This was also another reason Long Chen's slapping arts were so effective. You, your Long Chen, one of them asked in horror. Oh, you actually know my name. Long Chen was a bit surprised. Run, the other three celestials didn't even think about it before turning tail and fleeing in three different directions. Chapter 779 Mysterious Rune Translator Born to be since you've come, don't leave. Long Chen sneered. He didn't feel the slightest unease when facing corrupt experts. With three pointings of his finger, three lightning arrows shot out. Two of them had barely managed to get anywhere before they were pierced by those lightning arrows. If those were just ordinary thunder force, their heavenly Dao runes would have been able to completely block them. But Long Chen's thunder force came from tribulation lightning. Thus, their bodies were directly blown apart. As for the other one, he was the last one Long Chen pointed at, and with a supreme effort, he managed to dodge. But although he had dodged Long Chen's lightning arrow, he wasn't able to dodge his saber. His head was directly cut off. In truth, 
these three were actually very strong. The instant Long Chen had pointed the third finger, he had sensed that his opponent had realized and would be able to dodge. So he had directly used the Netherworld Ghost Steps to cut his head off the instant he dodged his arrow. Long Chen, you're already number one on our must-kill list. Zhu Yu will definitely kill you. The final corrupt expert only had a head left. He already knew that he was dead. So he sinisterly roared at him. Long Chen directly slashed apart his head. He didn't particularly care about his threat. In any case, many people wanted to kill him. So how could he possibly keep track of all their names? His San Mateo let out a crisp sound as he returned it to its sheath. It was an extremely pleasing sound. Now Long Chen realized why sword cultivators liked to slowly return their swords to their sheaths after killing their opponents. It really was a good feeling. Yes, perhaps to put it another way, it was posturing. The righteous expert that Long Chen had slapped unconscious now crawled up from the ground. He had just managed to see Long Chen killing the three corrupt experts. When Long Chen's saber returned to its sheath, that sound was like a hammer pounding on his heart. He finally understood that he had just returned from the brink of hell. Patting his hands, Long Chen felt greatly satisfied with his journey in the immemorial path so far. Here, he didn't need to care about any rules. Even righteous experts, if they provoked him when he was in a bad mood, could be killed without a care. Novaloon.com 3 Heavenly Day of Fruits. That signified another three members of the Dragon Blood Legion that could become Celestials. Long Chen's mood became extremely cheerful. With a thought, he went through the three spatial rings he had just obtained. He took out a map. Damn, really looking at the map. Long Chen's expression changed. He saw that there were countless blocks on the map. If all those blocks were joined together, they would form one huge path. He saw an area filled with little sesame-sized spots that had been marked with a special color. They were the spots that people could be transported to from the entrance. Long Chen did a quick count and saw that there were actually thousands of such spots. He quickly found his own spot because the corrupt expert had already marked it for him. Now it's a bit troublesome. The chances of Song Mingyuan and Li Qi finding wild are a bit low. They really can only listen to fate. Sighed Long Chen. This map clearly showed that the immemorial path was a jigsaw puzzle. Between each piece was an abyss. The map even showed that some abysses could not be crossed. He carefully looked through his current location. He suddenly saw there was an abyss not far to his right. So he began rushing in that direction. After over two hours, he saw the abyss. It was pitch black and emitted a chilling aura. It was like the open maw of a magical beast. The abyss was only a few dozen miles wide. Summoning his lightning wings, he began to fly over it. He kept his spiritual yuan in its peak state ready to handle anything unexpected at any time. But nothing odd happened. The spatial fluctuations only became a bit stronger once he reached the center. It was like he was moving through the water, but it didn't stop him. Crossing the abyss, he arrived at a thick forest mountain range. Examining the map, he saw that this was also a small area. Right now, he was still at the edge of the immemorial path. He crossed five more abysses. He finally arrived at a comparatively larger region. The map showed that this was the true entrance to the immemorial path. Only once he crossed this place would he have truly entered the immemorial path. A place filled with treasures and trials. It was rumored that the immemorial path was something ancient experts had to go through if they wanted to become an immortal or god. However, the immemorial path was too huge. Just the entrance was millions of miles wide. It was split into many pieces, and his current location was just one of such areas. Here was a huge stone pillar hundreds of miles long that was collapsed on the ground. It was broken in several places. Standing in front of it, Long Chen felt himself to be as minuscule as an ant. The pillar had countless carvings on it. There were azure dragons, divine phoenixes, as well as beasts that he had never seen before. Although the stone pillar was already fractured, it still emitted a powerful might. Within Long Chen's mind, a possible scene appeared. A huge pillar propping up the sky with endless carvings of grand and imposing dragons and phoenixes. Just how amazing must the immemorial path have been before it had been destroyed? He saw that the ground was inlaid with huge bricks dozens of miles long and with an unknown thickness. They were all covered in dust. There were broken eaves that were as big as mountains. Those golden days were no longer present. Everything was bleak. It felt like the broken pillar on the ground was trying to say something, but no one could understand it. It looks like the legends really were true. Back in the immortal era, people really were able to cultivate to immortality and ascend through the heavens. Otherwise, there would have been no way to construct such a huge path. This is definitely the style of immortals and gods. 
He looked at the huge stone pillar and felt its majestic aura. A single fallen pillar was comparable to a huge mountain range. He really didn't believe that mere humans were capable of constructing such a superstructure. Flying on the pillar, he looked over his surroundings. He saw what should have been the top of a huge gate. There should have been two huge pillars holding that up and some huge board with immemorial path written on it. But Long Chen didn't see any such board. As for this upper part of the gate, he was only seeing a portion of it. He had no idea if the rest of it had fallen into other areas or had disappeared into the abyss. Long Chen walked up to the broken roof of the gate. There were three roof tiles, but they were already covered in cracks. Seeing roof tiles that were over a hundred meters long, Long Chen was filled with awe. He didn't know what material these tiles were made of. Picking up a small broken piece, he found he was unable to crush it. Its hardness was even greater than treasure items. Furthermore, they seemed just like ordinary tiles and not even made of metal. Maybe some kind of energy was supporting them that made it so he couldn't break them. Long Chen went all out, but he was still unable to break a palm-sized piece. That made him suck in a cold breath. Just what kind of power could have destroyed the entire immemorial path? Had it really been a battle of gods? If there were really gods, why would they fight here? A trial land for disciples? Long Chen couldn't figure it out. But this scene was truly shocking. He realized just how minuscule he was. In front of this power, he was as weak as an ant. It could truly cause a person to weep in despair. Could it be that this is the kind of power required to stand at the peak of the martial path? A bitter smile of powerlessness surfaced on Long Chen's face. The expert who had been fleeing with him as a baby had told Long Shiang Xiao that Long Chen shouldn't try to find his origins until he reached the peak of the martial path. In the beginning, from the huge river that was formed from the expert slash, Long Chen had thought that the expert had merely had a Xianchen cultivation base. But now that he was at the Xianchen realm, he still hadn't reached the realm of even learning what the Dao transformation was. In order to protect Long Chen, that person had isolated himself from fate choosing to transform himself into the Dao. Only later had Long Chen learned that when a celestial reached the sea expansion realm, they would be able to refine themselves and return to the heavenly Daos, erasing a portion of the karma relating to them. Someone who had at least been a sea expansion celestial had actually been just a servant, and had sacrificed their entire existence to save him. Long Chen felt almost suffocated when he thought of his origins. Taking a deep breath, Long Chen pushed aside those thoughts. As his parents' son, he definitely couldn't retreat just because of some difficulties. That wasn't his style. Jumping off the gate, he saw that there was a large design on its sharp corner. Because it was too big, he couldn't get a good look at it from up close. He retreated into the distance to get a good look. This seems to be a rune. Although I can't understand it, I'll record it for now. Long Chen took out and activated a photographic jade. Bang. Suddenly, the photographic jade exploded. Long Chen was stunned as this was too bizarre. He couldn't recall such a thing ever happening before. He took out another one, and as soon as he activated it, it exploded again. Long Chen grew more suspicious. He carefully looked at that diagram, taking out a beast hide. He was just about to draw it when he realized that despite clearly memorizing it, his head was blank. He had no memory of what that diagram looked like. There's definitely something strange here. Long Chen stared closely at the diagram once more memorizing it, and then he rapidly raised his brush to draw it, but his brush had only just touched the paper when his hand stopped, his memories had disappeared again, you won't let me remember you, then I'll just draw you while I look at you, Long Chen stared at the diagram, and his hand began to move, he had just lightly touched the paper when his brush exploded, and Long Chen let out a pained groan, he almost collapsed on the ground, chapter 780 obtaining the rune translator, Born to be Long Chen felt piercing pain in his head as though it was about to explode. As for the beast hide and brush in his hands, they both exploded. Strange energy was blocking Long Chen from remembering the diagram, and it also refused to allow Long Chen to record it. There's definitely something wrong here. Whatever this diagram is, its origin must be extraordinary. Long Chen held his head in pain. Looking at the diagram, his gaze became even more fiery, although he didn't know what this diagram could be used for. His intuition told him that anything that could be carved at this location was definitely not some random picture. There had to be some secret behind this. I must think of some way to get it. Long Chen clenched his fists. This kind of mysterious diagram was something he had to obtain. But he couldn't copy it with a brush or record it with a photographic jade. His memory of it also disappeared in the blink of an eye. 
What was he supposed to do? His head was still hurting intensely. He hadn't yet recovered. And this was him. If it was someone with weaker spiritual strength, their soul would probably have instantly dissipated. Let's try it. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. With his gaze on the diagram, his mind entered the primal chaos space. He gathered a few medicinal ingredients. According to the diagram in front of him, he began to plant their seeds. Buzz. Incomparable pain racked his head while a terrifying kind of energy charged into the primal chaos space through some unknown means. Long Chen turned pale. If the primal chaos bead was destroyed, he really would be screwed. Boom. Suddenly, the primal chaos bead trembled and an incomparably powerful pressure descended. The encroaching energy was instantly blown apart. Not only that, but the pain in Long Chen's head also disappeared. Long Chen was delighted. The primal chaos bead had actually suppressed it. He hastily used seeds to replicate the diagram. Because he was using his spiritual strength, he finished replicating it in just an instant. Suddenly, a heaven-shaking explosion erupted. Long Chen was startled to see that the huge diagram on the corner of the gate actually exploded. A supreme power sent Long Chen flying. It was with great effort that Long Chen managed to stabilize his body. He saw that the corner of the gate had disappeared. It was like it hadn't been able to endure the primal chaos bead's force. Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. Just what was the primal chaos bead? Not only had it been able to resist the diagram's power, but it had even caused it to explode. Just now, he had been too nervous. But now that he thought back to what had just happened, it seemed as if the primal chaos bead had been provoked and so it had automatically released its own power. He hastily looked inside the primal chaos space and saw that everything was calm. That made him relax. The diagram he had made of the seeds was still present. In order to make it more dependable, Long Chen tried to draw the diagram. This time, everything was normal. No outside force tried to stop him. Once he had drawn the diagram, he carefully looked at it. It was an irregular octagon. Eight paths converged toward the center, and at the center, there was a small spot. It looked as if eight things were converging at the center. Is this an image of a woman's breast? Long Chen looked at the dot and was a bit bewildered. But the outer edge was octagonal, not circular. So that probability was low. The main thing was that Long Chen was now too sensitive to this kind of thing after obtaining the blouse before. He found that even without the diagram in front of him, he could remember it. It was extremely curious. Putting the diagram away, he decided not to try investigating it further since he couldn't understand it. He suddenly found that more and more people were appearing where he was. There were five people here now, and they were all ranked two celestials. Two of them came from the corrupt path, while two came from the ancient races. One had a horn on their head and was clearly from the full moon race, while the other had red scales on one arm. So Long Chen didn't know what race he was from. There was also another one who was just wearing ordinary human robes. When that person saw Long Chen, he was a bit surprised, but he still amicably nodded toward him. Obviously, since they were the only two ordinary humans, he wanted to maintain a good relationship with the two ancient race experts and two corrupt experts. Long Chen also nodded back to him. Looking at the two corrupt experts, he hesitated a moment and decided not to attack them. Instead, he continued onward. It wasn't that he didn't want to kill them, but that he didn't want to fight while others were watching. In any case, he had endless enemies waiting for him. There was no need for him to get anxious just because of two ranked two celestials. Those two celestials were clearly a bit nervous. They were tense and on guard as they stared closely at Long Chen. They only relaxed when they saw Long Chen turn and leave. That caused the righteous disciple and the two ancient race experts to be startled. They hadn't expected that they would be so afraid of Long Chen. What they didn't know was that Long Chen had already become the pinnacle figure of the Corrupt Path's must-kill list. The Corrupt Path had long since sent down orders that ranked two celestials and below were not to attack Long Chen, because there was no chance of them winning. In order to kill Long Chen, the Corrupt Path had sent out two exceedingly powerful figures, so the other Corrupt Experts would all retreat in front of Long Chen. Although the Corrupt Experts were famed for their cruelty and viciousness, they followed the higher-ups' orders without the slightest hesitation. It could be said that while Long Chen's fame wasn't so high in the righteous path, he had long since become the most dangerous threat to the corrupt path. That was because the danger that came from Long Chen didn't just come from his combat strength. The most dangerous thing about him was his scheming ability. This was something that had started back in the Jiuli secret realm. 
The corrupt path had suffered many times under Long Chen's hands, and they had lost more geniuses to him than they had in the past hundred years of the righteous and corrupt battles. Furthermore, four of their foundation forging experts had been slaughtered. That careless loss had shaken the entire corrupt path. At the same time, they finally realized that they had fallen for the righteous path scheming. They linked together the loss in the chaos region with the loss of four foundation forging experts. It was too obvious. In truth, they were wrong. It wasn't that the righteous path had tricked them, nor had they tried to trick them. They really had wanted to cooperate with them to get rid of Long Chen. It was just that the corrupt path was already infuriated and refused to listen to a word from the righteous path any longer. No matter who tried to communicate with them, they would all be slaughtered without exception. Long Chen had used his own efforts to completely destroy any diplomatic ties between the righteous and corrupt paths. Even Long Chen hadn't realized that he had such a great ability. Following the large, broken path, Long Chen continued forward. Ancient ruins appeared, ruins that were battered and crushed. It was unknown how many years had passed for it to be so full of such desolate air. But considering how huge the ruins were, it should be the first place that ancient disciples had stopped to adjust themselves to the immemorial path. Perhaps this place had been used to get disciples adapted to the environment. Passing through the ruins, a smooth path appeared before him, but after several miles, the path ahead was severed by an abyss. Long Chen decided to give up on this path and just continue forward. This place was just the entrance of the immemorial path. Other than the gate, he hadn't found anything of value. If he wanted to understand the immemorial path, if he wanted to find opportunities, he would need to go deeper. Oh, an abyss suddenly appeared before Long Chen, but this abyss was different from the one before. It was over a hundred miles long, and space was constantly twisting. Long Chen sensed great danger from that distorted space. He randomly flung in a low-grade enchanted sword. When it struck that distorted space, it directly exploded. I can't pass here. I'll have to go around. Long Chen shook his head. Although his physical body was strong, he had no intention of trying to barge through here. He would rather find another path. The immemorial path was like a broken jigsaw puzzle. If he couldn't advance from ahead, he could just go around. It was just that he didn't know how far he would have to detour. But even if it was far, it was better than taking this risk. That was especially true since there was nothing to entice him to take this risk. It was definitely not worth it. Long Chen began to travel along the edge of his current block. He found another spot where the abyss was much narrower and he didn't feel that sensation of danger. Long Chen felt like he was traveling through a maze. It was extremely infuriating, but he was also helpless to do anything about it. After a while, a large mountain range appeared in front of him. It was mostly covered in shrubbery instead of trees, and the land had plenty of small mounds on it that made it look like a cemetery. These mounds are placed according to a set pattern. They aren't natural. Is this place a trial? Long Chen hastily looked at his map. As expected, he saw a faint color here. If he hadn't looked carefully, he wouldn't have noticed. It seemed the corrupt path's disciples were extremely crafty and didn't want people to notice this spot even if they managed to steal their maps. The immemorial path was huge, and it was unknown how many trials and ancient secrets it was hiding. Some places had been found, but the majority were still secrets waiting for someone to find them. Even if a trial region had been found, there were only a few people that were capable of finding the secrets within it. This place was filled with unknowns and dangers. Stepping onto this land, a desolate air of death assaulted him. It was extremely uncomfortable. After just a few steps, he noticed that there were already footprints here. He followed these footprints to a certain hill where he could see a large cave around 30 meters high. There were two large fangs at its entrance that made it look like a mouth. There were three large words written above the entrance. They should be immortal characters, but Long Chen didn't recognize what they meant. Although he didn't know the meaning of them, he knew this place should be a trial region. He carefully walked into the cave. Before he could get used to the dark, a sword stabbed toward Long Chen's back out of nowhere. Blood splashed. 